Paul, I think we're live. All right, all right, okay, all right, okay. What's up, buddies? Welcome back to another epi on the poor man road to glory grind. Today is a lovely Monday, March 18th, and uh, we have so much to talk about today. Uh, this may be part of the intro. This may be just part of the greater discussion for today, but uh, I don't know if you guys have seen EA and EA Sports in general currently are being mass hacked by cheaters and hackers in their live service games. So you guys have seen a couple of popular clips, I'm sure, of Apex tournaments, pros being live hacked and being given auto aim and walls and cheats live during their pro tournament events, during EA events. So for, it's mainly happening on Apex Live so far that I've seen, but it's happening in Warzone tournaments now too. Um, and I believe it's a shared anti-cheat across a whole bunch of gaming platforms that these hackers have now figured out ways to hack inside and actually hack you while you are live. Now, I'm not claiming in any means that that is happening on FC24 right now, but in the last 24 hours, I have met already three hackers in champs. So unfortunately, I'm getting disconnect glitch like crazy right now, which is absolutely killing the grind. Sometimes the disconnect glitch gives me a loss, like this, I would assume, and uh, other times, the disconnect glitch just puts me back on the main screen, whether I'm winning, losing, or drawing, and uh, the game doesn't count. So there you go. Um, it did indeed count as another loss. I have, I have lost four games from disconnect glitches since the last time you guys saw this screen. It's going to be hilarious. All I'm going to say is it's going to be freaking hilarious. Again, I don't really care. I don't even care if we get six wins on this account. It means absolutely nothing to me. But the fact that we've gotten from 8 and 1 to 10 and 8 in a matter of 12 hours is just absolutely hilarious. So I'm concerned this game, and this is something else I wanted to talk about, I almost feel guilty still playing this game and finding fun in this game right now. I, I, I genuinely feel guilty because I understand the overall sentiment right now is that this game absolutely sucks that everyone hates this game which kind of is the sentiment every year but everybody keeps playing the game and everybody keeps watching the game what i have seen i've done a little bit of deep diving and research and for a while the last couple of months specifically i've thought well you know what i'm it's fine right it's been 11 years since i've been making content on this game specifically as the game is dying off I've tanked as well, right? And we talk about this all the time. My Twitch chat specifically, probably getting bored out of their minds of hearing me talk about this, specifically because there's so many of you guys that still support what I do and are like, dude, just shut up. I'm still supporting you. Let's just keep pushing forward, right? But as a content creator, as someone that obviously has metrics and obviously metric means an income for me, these things are always in the back of my head. So for my own brains, I just did a little bit of a deep dive, a bit of research on the rest of the Ultimate Team community, both on video form for YouTube, streaming for Twitch, Kick, YouTube. Uh, and it is so much worse than I thought. I th Like I said, I thought it was just me kind of thing, right? Where I'm like, oh yeah, okay, I'm tanking, right? Oh, I, so many other people are picking up the views and whatever. Other than like Zwayback, Run the Foot Market, and Pie Face, a couple of others, um, the community is at maybe like one to 5% of the views that each individual person across the board would be getting at this time of year. So that kind of leads me to believe, and that's mainly for live streams, but YouTube videos are kind of a very similar uh, world as well. And it leads me to feel almost guilty for still enjoying this game. And I kind of wanted to talk to, obviously, have my Twitch chat give some feedback as well. But I did kind of want to talk to you guys about uh, the overall sentiment of this game and how you guys feel about this game. Are you guys, and, and again, here, here's the deeper question here. Are you guys that still even watch my content just done? Like, for those of you guys that are maybe even my biggest supporters, are you, for the most part, just kind of done with this a hundred percent and you're kind of just here because we have a community and you you kind of stop by maybe every day for a second or two and you're like you know what man i've been watching this canadian idiot for a while i'm gonna stay subbed i'd love to hear your guys's overall thoughts because genuinely it seems like 99.9 percent .9 of the overall community that would be playing this game at this time of year is gone whereas in previous years you'd be like oh okay it's post team of the year 
maybe 20 to 30 percent of the community is kind of left you know a lot of people maybe leave during december come back during team of the year and then the majority comes back during team of the season i don't know if team of the season is going to save this game and this franchise it is is kind of where i'm at right now and um I, I, I do wonder if our overall community, and I'm talking about you guys that watch my content, have finally gotten to the point after 10 or 11 years of watching my content, maybe playing this game, where you guys have all kind of ripped the band-aid off and are like, look, I'm done being abused by EA, I'm done being baited by them into thinking every year there's going to be better gameplay, I'm done being baited by store packs and feeding my gambling addiction. Like, I, I just really do wonder where... Everybody's brain is at right now on March 18th, 2024, because for some insane reason, as much as I agree with every single one of you guys, I still enjoy this game. Like you guys will know when I'm done with a game franchise or with a, with a game for the year, you know, I'm done. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm very open about it. Usually it's like, all right, hey guys, I'm, I hate this game. Get me off of this game. But we do like the 6 p.m. content. We see what's going on. And, and it's like, oh my God, Nick, have you been on the game for half an hour? Now you're done. You guys will see that. I don't hide that from you. You guys can genuinely see that I'm still, as much as gameplay can irritate me, especially yesterday, I'm still putting two to four hours a day into this game and enjoying it. I mean, I now basically make no different money whether I'm streaming this game or uh, apparently I'm going through puberty at 38 years old, but whether or not I'm streaming this game or streaming Helldivers or streaming Escape from Tarkov, my income now absolutely is not shifting whatsoever. Um, and we've kind of done a bit of a litmus test on that in the last couple of months. So you guys can know whether it's monetarily or just my honest opinion, if I am putting time into this game, it is genuinely because I'm still kind of enjoying myself, right? And and if I'm not, like I said, we'll be on F124, we'll be on, you know, Elden Ring, we'll be on Tarkov, well, eh, well those other things. And hopefully you still want to jump into the channel every once in a while and hear my opinions on, on certain things or my opinions on games. But my stance on enjoying this game for a couple of hours a day does not seem to mesh with, like I said, 99% of the viewer base and the player base that plays this game, at least within my community. I I, I, I genuinely am, am, am dumbfounded by the, the severe drop-off of interest in this game. And so again, I, I kind of want to bring it back to you guys. Like, if you are here regularly, God bless you, right? So I, I'm not really speaking or asking this question to you. But maybe if you're someone that happens to be in here today randomly, or you're you're someone maybe that watches a stream maybe only once a week. And, and I mean in general, I'm not just saying me. Maybe you'll watch, whereas you used to watch maybe me for three, four hours, then you'd immediately go to run the foot market for four or five hours, then you'd immediately spend five hours watching Zway, and you'd be doing that dedicated uh, viewership, let's say, you, with me, you're watching me at work or whatever, maybe in between college work. With Zway, you're watching kind of when you, at the tail end of work and when you get home, maybe run the foot market or pie you're watching religiously. I, I, all these things are in the background. I'm not insinuating that you, in your height of passion of, of Ultimate Team, you're watching straight up, just sitting on your couch 15 hours a day. But you know what I mean. I know a lot of people will watch content creators and things they enjoy throughout their working day and throughout their winding down day as kind of a bit of a background noise, right? If you're someone that, and there's a heavy amount of viewership that used to do that, that doesn't do that anymore, where you barely find yourself like, ah, I'm here for a minute or two and then I'm kind of out. Or, I, I, I'm, I would love to just pick your brains because I really find this very, very interesting. Like what has changed? Is it the overall game itself that's changed? Are you guys watching other things? Are you guys watching other content creators? Are you guys watching uh, other content? Is it is it Warzone? Is it, or have, have, Again, someone like me and Nep, who've been doing this for a dumb amount of time, has our audience in general kind of just grown up and be like, all right, well, I'm an adult now. I, I, I'm going to spend a bit of time working out. I'm going to spend a bit of time with my family. I'm going to, I would love to know like kind of what shifted your, 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 your interests. Because again, I want to think, and for the longest time, I always like blaming myself. I think it's very important that you blame yourself at, and not in a negative or toxic way, but you try and look internally for things that are going on in your world because you are essentially in control of your destiny right like i mean there's no use in me saying oh ea have ruined this game and that's why i'm not getting a viewership or, or 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 whatever the case may be right i always have thought oh it's just me you know at the end of the day i haven't really changed my content in 11 years so of course with the infinite amount of content creators that are available to watch of course my numbers are going to come down especially as there's people doing way better than me at a road to glory there's people doing way better than me in fought champs there's people doing way better than me in squad billows 
uh, in squad builders, right? I think I just broke my controller. There, essentially, the argument is now, before I think I kind of was at the peak of the creator market in terms of the poor man road to glory style thing, but now you've got 4 billion other people doing the same thing or, or better. So again, to reiterate, I thought through these last years and specifically this year, the drop off has just been solely on me, right? But clearly in my last couple of weeks of looking at others, everybody, like dude, every, even content creators that I full well would admit are way better than me, even run the fun market. Uh, everybody's numbers are in the, in, below in the floor. So that's why I kind of wanted to pose that question to you guys and just see like, where are you guys at? What is, what is the things that you're enjoying? Because as I said, I'm still enjoying playing this. I'm still enjoying making content about this. I, I understand that people don't really necessarily want to watch in huge numbers, kind of what I'm doing on any given day, but I'm still having fun. You guys know that at this point in my career, I'm just doing what I find enjoyable. So for me, this whole game and this ecosystem, building these cool teams, we've got Thierry Henry now. We, yeah, I love packing these randomly awesome players and then testing them and using them and building up some Leeds players here and there as we go. I love this concept, but clearly, clearly the overall ultimate team, Twitch, FIFA audience does not care whatsoever about this game. So I kind of just wanted to see, um, where your guys' brains is at, are at. So I'm going to scroll up a little bit and maybe just read through um, a few messages so we can get an overall understanding. And again, am I going to get a full understanding of what the overall Ultimate Team community thinks? No, I'm going to get an understanding of the echo chamber of my viewer base. And I think my viewer base is going to be a lot less savage, right? Like a lot of my viewer base will cater what they say in how they don't like this game a little bit nicer. Whereas maybe someone in a random community would be like, dude, you're washed up, you're old, you're 38 your content sucks and this game sucks. Of course your viewers are gonna go down, right? Whereas someone in my child be like, oh, this game is trash. That's why I don't spend much time. Anyways, take that as well as a disclaimer. Um, so Kid says, Kid RKD says, I play the game a few times a week. The game is geared towards casual play, so I try not to take it seriously, which allows me to laugh at the game and still enjoy it. Okay, so that's more of a positive spin. Uh, the love for the sport, says Nick Nielsen. Having watched so many YouTubers like you, Zwei, Nep, for a decade, I just can't drop it. Okay, so again, more of like a legacy viewership. But again, so these aren't really people that have... Um... I work from home and have something on in the screens in the background, watching like a documentary, YouTube, Twitch, your stream is one of my favorite things to have. Okay, so again, these are a lot of people that are just reinforcing... Um kind of my my audience's thought process i kind of want to see people that aren't necessarily watching too too much anymore me or the, or the rest of the ogs don't get enjoyment from ultimate team anymore i personally like playing clubs with my friends okay uh just my love of football that keeps me playing one hour max a day um the fifa market has dropped off kids definitely impacted me watching for sure okay uh, so for me, it's hard to get into the game with how sweaty or toxic the player base is now. There are no real casual modes. Still love to watch streams and streamers play. Okay, so again, more positivity. The game is just ass. The game. Okay, so the game is just boring to watch uh, because you can get such a good a team, such good of a team so fast. There's no reason to be happy if you pack some good players or get certain rank because it doesn't mean anything. That's the reason I liked RTGs back in the days. So that's a, that's a, that's a good point. But wouldn't we argue that 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 issue that you brought up has been a thing for the last five, six, seven years? I mean, I feel like me and Nep every single year, at least for the last half decade, have said like RTGs are so easy. But in previous years, the numbers, like I said, were still way higher viewership wise across the board. Even though that sentiment hasn't changed, I mean, it's always kind of been way too easy. To, to grind an account. I would say probably since Ultimate Team 16 or 17. Like, the second they brought in Ultimate uh, Fut Champs, it's been so easy to grind a road to glory. Because if you've got a, a brain and, and, and you enjoy this game and you can understand mechanics and start getting semi-decent finishes and champs and the rest of the modes, you just start building a war chest of of, of coins and players and, and all of these things. But anyways, uh, fair, fair point. Um... Birthday Evos have re-engaged me. Okay, so I think part of the opposite section of people. My last FIFA was 19. I'm now living alone and being bored. I bought this FIFA and got back into watching the streams. Okay. 
Um, so again, that's kind of more feeding towards my benefit. I'm trying to see the other side of the thought process. Um, I mean, it's back to the game. People don't enjoy playing. Why would they watch someone else play? So, so uh, again, true. But I, again, even to that point, Porce, is the thought process that I feel like m through the last five or six years, most people have hated playing this game. But again, the viewer numbers were way higher in, in previous years, even though every single year we all basically get down to the point of we hate playing this game. Although I think this, this year is specifically horrific, though. I think even last year and specifically 22, Team of the Season was a blast. I was playing probably 20 times more games a week than I am right now. So, okay, I, 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 do, I will agree with that sentiment for sure. Is that just overall, if you hate playing something and you have no interest in the game or franchise anymore, why would you come by and hang out in a franchise? Very similar to me. Like, as much as there's certain games I've loved, F1, when I'm playing F1, and really, it, this is a perfect example, and engaged in F1, I'm watching other content creators doing co-op series on YouTube about F1. I haven't played F1 since last summer. Guess what I haven't watched at all? Like, I used to watch Yarno all the time. And I, I mean, I love Yarno and his content's awesome. He's probably one of the best um, sim and real life racers in the world, really. But I haven't truthfully even watched his content in about eight or nine months. I still interact with him socially and whatever. But so that's probably the uh, the exact definition is like the majority of mine and Nep's audiences and whatnot are just done with this iteration of the game. Maybe when FC 25 comes out in September, again, we'll be back to our regular numbers because people will be back in their droves hoping that, of course, the new iteration of the game is a better release and it's something that lasts a little bit longer, for sure. So that definitely is something that uh, that makes absolute sense. Uh, the more I, I think about it. Um, I'll tell you for me, a lot of my favorite creators all stream at the same time now. I used to be able to watch you, then... TFA or Chris RM in the evenings, then Zwayer hectic late night. Now it seems there's just an afternoon stream Eastern for me and late night and that middle segment is faded out. I try and spread the love at this time out evenly. What percentage of total Twitch viewer base did you have before and what percentage of the do you have now? I, again, I don't know. I think my percentage hasn't changed. That's the thing. It's just the numbers are through the floor because again, if we think mathematically about it, I overall i don't think i've lost the overall percentage of twitch ultimate team viewers uh in my respective area because as much as my numbers have come down and and or shifted everyone else's has as well right so um there is a slight shift right of course like i'm sure the percentage has come down a little bit if, especially t from 10 years ago or nine years ago or eight years ago but overall it's not an overall loss of percentage of the overall pie it's more that the pie itself for everyone has shrunk right does that does that make sense um, but no, 100%, like to, to, to pretend like I haven't lost a large chunk of my viewership to Zway or to run the foot market or to, uh, angry ginge or to whatever. No, that would be me being disingenuous. Uh, of course I've lost a huge portion of my dude, half of Zway's mods are my ex mods, right? So like, of course, and that's not a negative. That's just the way it is. People will find the new cool thing, the new thing they like, and they'll just leave to that next thing, right? It's just the way it is. That is life, right? That's not a, that's not a negative. That's not throwing shade on anyone. That's the reality of the world. So as much as I just said, like, I don't think my percentage has changed too much. I suppose that's not accurate either. Of course, overall, that percentage has, uh, has, has changed, but that is life. Um, I used to watch you religiously in school. I'm an adult now. I don't have interest anymore. Fair enough. Um, you're part of my routine. So I'm here. Fair enough. It's not you, but it is the game itself. Uh, game is about money and, and no focus on gameplay. I mean, and then you try and focus on gameplay and you lose your mind, right? So Terry says, I left FIFA streams in general because I was invested in other things. Always loved football. I decided to get back to FIFA, so I came back to your stream. Um... I find myself more focused on work nowadays. I don't watch as much. Mainly just put something on during lunch break these days. I feel that trumpet. I love the sport. I play this game and the only game I feel good at. Um, I watch you because a lot of the things you say are correct about the game. Again, I appreciate that. 
People saying gaming in general is dying, that's just not right. Steam beat its all-time concurrent players record yesterday. The last record was established last Sunday. Gaming is the most popular it's ever been. Proving how EA are ruining this game 100%. Oh yeah, no. People trying to say that overall gaming is 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 dropping down as, as a pastime is absolutely incorrect. I think people playing Ultimate Team as part of their gaming world as a pastime is dropping. And I think the other thing is... 10 years ago, again, we were all 10 years younger. So we were all very invested in this. We all grow up and change and shift, right? As much as I am trying to earn an income off of this game, there's not a, I don't find as big of a younger audience that is shifting in, that are football lovers that grew up collecting cards and stuff like that. And, um, oh my God. Huh? Okay. All right. Enjoy, Bubba. Um, yeah, just keep the doors unlocked. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You bring your phone too? Yeah, good, good, good. Okay. Um, yeah, what was I saying, boys? Oh, yeah, yeah, thanks, Ethan. My, Ethan just reminded me of the topic we're talking about. So, again, you don't have... I, I feel like you don't have that younger audience that is coming to replace the older audience that we all started with 10 years ago that are now 10 years older that have left to do other things. There isn't that newer audience that I think are as engaged with this specific game. I think that newer audience may be engaged with whether it's... Um, that are still football fans to some extent or whatever, but maybe they're more engaged with a war zone. Maybe they're more engaged with whatever other litany of games there are available. Um, that could be part of it, part of it too, man. I, I, again, I suppose maybe I'm just so old man ish about this where I find it confusing that people don't like this game. I understand the gameplay can be frustrating, but I say this every day as well. Like if, and when the gameplay is clean, this game is amazing. It really is. So again, it doesn't matter to me whether or not someone truly believes this franchise is great. It's just my belief system is that this is such a great overall encompassing thing. As much as EA seems to be doing everything they can to ruin this franchise with their stupid decisions and they're just allowing the game to be ruined, constantly focusing on store packs, constantly ignoring all the glitches and issues, the cheaters, the, the server issues and whatever. I still think fundamentally, this is such a cool thing. You've got a game that you can play completely for free. You can build up, if you're a Leeds fan or you're American, you can b build a, a squad of like American players that you put the Leeds badge on. You're like, these, these are the players that I wish somehow in some universe I could put almost in a career mode for Leeds. But now I can take it online against other players and build up their stats over time and, and, and you know, get, uh, be able to look over the goal scored and assist for this player and and then and then trade and build coins and 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 grind in certain ways to build up another uh, ability to craft and grind and unlock not a Thierry Henry but unlock a Ruter and upgrade him like there's so many fundamental parts of this game that are absolutely still to this day to me amazing so once again it's it what blows my mind is that how clearly the large majority of people that either could be playing this game just don't agree with me whatsoever um which is interesting i just do find that interesting uh, people who have the attention span for Twitch content are now 25 to 35. The new crowd will jump to TikTok and watch a 30 second clip. Good point. Another good point. Uh, I watch you mostly when there's a Tarkov wipe or a new game you're trying. I don't have interest in FIFA anymore. Fair enough, Angus. Um, going older for me has made me distance myself from content being made now. Uh, I'd say I don't watch any other content now compared to a few years ago i just feel as though i prefer to watch amateur teams a bit of both i think the game has made me angry to play that i stopped therefore I kind of my interest has dropped off i started watching at 14 i'm now 23 my interests have shifted um and i've only picked up watching again since i graduated uni fair enough um okay game is boring and repetitive don't find joy even watching it anymore fair enough victor see this is this is what i do find interesting right um yeah I, I i think again in terms of the ultimate team space this is another co just fun conversation i have sorry that we're starting this epi today with, with this type of topic but hopefully it's i mean this has almost turned today's epi into just a podcast right more so than me opening packs and playing games which we will get to don't worry that will be part of it today but um
Is it safe to play FIFA at the moment? I heard there's something weird with the anti-cheat. I've I've gotten four disconnect glitches from cheaters uh, in my last like six games. So no, I'd say this game is a mess right now. I saw Zway got disconnected once or twice, but I think he turned off uh, crossplay, so he should be okay right now. Um, the power curve was longer. It felt like grinding. You could keep up without spending money. Now the only upgrades I get are out of reach. Not gonna touch points. EA can suck themselves. They probably would if they could, to be fair. Um... EA haven't done anything to bring in new players. No new game modes, little investment, improved gameplay, only focus on driving more revenue to the customer base they already have. Yeah, it's like EA love the idea because they feel like they have such a big audience. They love the idea, instead of pushing the boundaries to make people more interested in the game, they just want to push the boundaries of trying to fleece their existing customer base for all that they're worth money-wise, for sure. I think what might drive people away is that you spend time talking about things, i.e. what we're doing right now. TikTok generation doesn't have the attention span for. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that's maybe being a bit too kind to me, right? And and maybe a bit too harsh on the younger generation or the TikTok generation. I'm sure some of that is true. But I, again, I'm sure it's just some of the things I do. It's it's more fun to watch Run the Fut Market do it, right? Um, I, I think there's a truth to that too, right? And and that's that's perfectly normal and and um, and and perfectly fine, of course. Because of all the bad things, I don't put effort and passion into it. Okay. This game isn't a football game, it's a casino simulator. But wouldn't we argue that this game's always been a casino simulator? Hasn't it been 11 years of me bitching and moaning that why is the gameplay so poor compared to what they do in the menus? Have we not been saying this? I feel like we've been saying this for years. So again, what what has been the straw that's broken the camel's back now where people are like, okay, I'm out now. We've been saying this stuff for the last 10, 11 years. I mean, even back in 2015, sure, there wasn't as much to do, to, to do in the menus, but it was way more enjoyable to spend time in the menus than it was in gameplay. Even in 2015, people just forget. Fifty pounds for a single pack might have woken up a lot of people up. I feel like I also called EA's own downfall this year and last year, saying, "Bro, these exorbitant packs, EA are just gonna keep making them worse and it's gonna push people away, man." How do you justify a singular pack that ninety percent of the time gives you nothing and is untradeable? So even if you get something, you can't do anything with it. You don't get your coins back or anything for it. How can you justify a pack that has those? rewards which is basically no reward and chart have it be the cost of the overall game itself i mean i i do think ea's greed has finally killed them for sure google trends shows fc24 is half as popular at almost any given similar time as fifa 23 i wonder if you could do a trend like that with uh uh, FIFA 22. Remember EA did this with the Star Wars game as well? I don't, I don't remember. I genuinely don't remember. Ultimate Team needs something refreshing and new. Like, dra like Draft was back in 2016. Man, it's such a weird... Such a weird thing, man. I don't know. You know what? I think it is partially up to content creators themselves to... to so it's partially up to me as well to come up with better content. Like, maybe people would be more invested in my content if also, similarly, I was doing a leads-only past and present Evo account. Right? Which I kind of do, but obviously I've got all these other guys in there too. Uh, I don't know. Like... 
Are people more invested in Nep's Arsenal stream content or AJ3's Everton content than my overall stream content because of that? That's something I'd have to ask maybe the viewers that we share, right? Because I think Nep and Andy both have different viewers than I have. Of course, that's inevitable. I'm invested in Epp Shitters RTG. See, my biggest problem with going down a new, um, I wouldn't say rabbit hole for content, but this is why I struggle to do, let's say a new road to glory, right? Or let's say a lead specific road to glory or let's say a uh, Project Zlatan again. The problem is, I feel like a lot of people, at least in my community, will say, oh yeah, man, I'm very, very invested and excited about the, the idea of a Project Zlatan series coming back. But the metrics are there even from 10 years ago. People love those Road to Glories or love those new series for the first five episodes. They're invested, they love it, but then, unfortunately, the way this game is coded, the way this game is built, after your first five episodes where everything is new and is a struggle, you get caught in purgatory, where Nep and I talk about this all the time, where you end up, after five fucking episodes of any new account you do, you end up having 98% of the players that are good and good enough to let you do everything, but to get to the 99.9%, .9%, that, that that jump of like really, really, really top tier players like Emily Kovic Savage and uh and um a Hullet Crafted and uh, you know some of these players here, the jump from that to the Ginola, or the jump from that to a Fut Birthday Messi, or the jump from that to an R9 takes the next five months to do. And so you have everybody super invested in a new thing that you're doing on this account or on Ultimate Team for the first five episodes, for the first one or two weeks of the new series. And then the, the interest just dives off of a cliff. And here I am doing a new thing again for the next three months, whereas I could have just been on this account for the, the last three months, right? <clears throat> and that might exactly be why people quit this game because within the first couple of months you get to your A tier team and it's not worth definitely the money to get an S tier team and it's definitely not worth the time to get the S tier team and we all know having the S tier team anyways might help you towards another one or two wins in just still dog shit gameplay and terrible gameplay overall. So it's just the overall, I think I've just solved my own question. I think the overall fundamental structure of this game has slowly but surely through the years caused people to just give up. And it's finally, we're like 10, 15 years into this game's now life cycle where people again, they they do the exact, what I've just described. Everybody's interested when the game launches, it's like a Tarkov wipe, right? Everybody's interested in September, October, maybe even November, but even by November, most of the people that know the Road to Glory grind, like I've shown them or like Nep's shown them or whatever, most of the people by late October into November all have a 98% team. And once again, it's that discussion that I just had, so I'm not gonna repeat myself, but there's such a huge gap to get to that S tier setup that for the most part, as the months go on, people then, just like the viewership of a Road to Glory, People, similarly, their interest and engagement with the with Ultimate Team itself just drops off. And I think that that bell curve, if you will, of interest and, and playing versus giving up, as Ultimate Team has gotten older and as EA have been less and less willing to push the boundaries and make the game better and more and more willing to take advantage of their community by trying to make money off of them in FC points, that bell curve used to be maybe be like this. Okay, this is September. This is the next September of the game cycle. And I, this is beautiful, by the way. I wish I actually had a, a graph for you guys. But I think as the years have gone, remember, this is September. This is the next September for the Ultimate Team. Um, and think of these two points of where, where the where the camera angle is, right? This is the, this was the bell curve for like FUT 
10 and fut 11 and fut 12 and fut 14 and fut 15 fut 16 fut 17 fut hold on where's that where i gotta make sure i'm over here fut this is this remember this is this is the start of the game all right fut 18 now we're getting to fut 19 and fut 20 now this bell curve is starting to go now we're at fc 24 and the bell curve is here does that make sense i'm not just trying to show off my arms here like does that make sense so now we're here. Now it's like early September. There's a big interest, but by by November, it's that's it. And now you've got basically from here, you've got from November all the way until next fucking September where nobody cares. And honestly, unless EA do anything at all, this bell curve is only gonna go from from historically like this. It's just gonna be this. And eventually there's just gonna be no bell curve. And the overall is just gonna be there's gonna be a little blip. Nobody's going to care. That's where we're at now. And it's 100% down to EA. Fair to say or no? Uh, Ouija, let me gift you that sub, brother. Give me one second here. Damn, man. Honestly, that I, I truly, not to toot my own horn, I think that is one of the best graphical examples and five minutes of explaining what's happened to this game that I will ever have. Like, if only people had the attention span to listen to five minutes of me discussing, that would be such an amazing uh, YouTube short or clip for the main channel. Hopefully, our Malika is already posting it. Um, but would you not? Do you guys not agree? I feel like we finally kind of. It's very obvious what I just d graphically pointed out to you guys while showing off my noodle arms. But um, I think that definitely solidifies it. Here we go. We, I got you, bro. Gifted sub coming through, my man. Gifted sub coming through, brother. I just wanted to make sure I got my point across. Uh, I miss being here. Just lost the love for FIFA due to the server's button delay making my experience nearly unplayable. Even though I don't get, uh, get to play or enjoy any other game either. I feel you, man. I feel you. <clears throat> All right. I think we got our uh, the, the point of today done, yeah? Sadly, this is where we're at. This is where we're at. So I think, as always, it's important to just keep trying to play this game for the joy that you can have in it. And uh, as I always say to you guys, if you find yourself rage playing this game, just give up for the day. Come back the next day. Because the problem with continuing to rage play this game is it just makes you hate this game more, right? That's why yesterday I, I stupidly went to play that n another game because we got Thunderstruck Henri, but that was a mistake. That genuinely made me hate this game for the day. Um, I have 13 mil on PC, but I can't even upgrade my team with that. I'd love to buy the new Henri, but he's 15 million on PC. Why, while he's 7 million on console, it's unfair. I mean, it's not unfair. That's just the way the markets are, brother. Um, you know, what got you to 13 mil on PC is you, I hope you understand, is you doing that exact same thing on console will mean you have 6 million on console. So again, the same thought process would be the same. It's not you have 13 mil on PC, so then... He's not possible to buy on PC, but that's unfair because you think doing the same thing, you'd have 13 mil on console. No, I mean, that that's how Hi simple... Dad. Hello, my love. That's how simple math is going to work, right? So it, 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 it's it's all relative to to the, the platform that you're on, right? I think the greater thing is it's not that console and PC is unfair. Yes, I mean, I do agree. PC prices are crazy, but I think the, the, the larger discussion is... The prices in general are disgraceful. Whether you're on console or on PC is just insanity The way, where the prices are at. These prices right now, even though they basically fully stopped coin selling and coin buying and added price ranges, these prices right now are worse than what we had back in FIFA 14 and 15 when EA came out and publicly said, shame on everyone that does coin selling. The prices of players right now is the reason why the game is ruined. Funny EA, well here we are eight or nine years later and the market price of players is even worse. Interesting how that works, hey? What, what are we blaming on now, EA? What, what content creators are you gonna blame now for uh, things that are going wrong in your game? Because that's what they used to do back in the day. It used to be all our fault. We were the ones ruining everything in the game. 
And they needed to battle against us because we were the evil enemy. Classic. Remember when we didn't want 5 million coin SBCs? Remember when they, midway through the SBC season, decided to not release like R9 SBCs and whatnot because it was against the community guidelines for a fair fun game because the SBCs would be too expensive? So they just didn't release them? Here we are again, fast forward four or five years down the road. And uh, the SBCs are more nuts than ever. How's Makalele been? Really good, but oddly enough, not as dominant as I thought. I think Oberdorf and Vieira are just as fine. I'm glad I got that uh, five-game loan to test them out. All right, let's get into the epi, yeah? We got we got a lot to do today. Hey, man. Let's, uh, let's get into the epi. Uh, V-Bag, thank you very much, man, for the resub. That was a very long hey, conversation. Man. Nearly two years. Holy moly, I am 40 minutes behind on, uh, on, on sub messages and stuff, guys. Sorry about that. Hey, man. Um, Monsta, Trainable Soul, MSV, 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 thank you for the 53 Amen. months. Thank you guys for the prime resubs. Victor, thank you for the three-month resub. Um, time for F1 soon? Well, F1, F124 comes out, yep. Amen. Arno, Andres? Time for some F1 soon. Cover your ears, guys. I'm going to scream at you in a second here. Thank you for the prime, Arno. Thanks for the sub! It's an outrageously loud alert. But it's a new sub, so I got to be excited about it. Vic, thank you for the 13 months with prime. Amen. Um, appreciate you. Nick just went to my local Lebanon store. Can't wait for this hummus I'm about to destroy with some pita. Take my money! Take my money! Take my bank card! Life came in the way and I don't have that much time to watch anymore and everyone in the Yit and Twitch sides are doing exactly the same thing, no originality. Stay here forever for the man you are and your discussions. Much love, Tom Amen. Hans. Stepped back from watching your content past month or so. Nothing against the content or you, but everyone was producing the same stuff. So I chose to use NEP for 6 p.m. and RTFM for the rage laughs. Yeah, I mean, yeah. again, this is kind of the, the point I was making, Luke, is that I think at this point in time, you have like 900 content creators to choose from that Amen. run an RTG. 900 content creators that look at 6 p.m. content, right? I mean, it, it is what it is. Bizarro, Amen. TWS, Simi, Poldzi, thank you guys, man. Appreciate the resubs. Brett, thank you for the uh, eight-month resub as well. Yeah, no, I, I, I totally understand, and that's fine. I'm not saying that's a negative thing. Again, I'm just saying that's the reality that I live in and that we all as content creators live in, right? Um, Amen. Much the pool of options is 10 times or 100 times more. Feedback about this game and life in general. Here's to many more thank you, Brett. than three. Thank you, Brett. Amen. I um, I appreciate that, man. Nick. Uh, LFC, please. Thank you for the 79. DJ, thank you for the $10 a month. Oh, speaking of Nepo, thank you for the $10 a month resub for 72 months. You're a legend, bro. Anton, thank you for the 44. Amen. Good to see you back. All good with you, Nick. Yeah. Yeah, I would say overall, right? I've, I'm alive. Woke Amen. up today and I'm, I'm breathing. Got a good uh, chest, heavy chest day workout in. I'm a little bit weaker than normal from taking a week off on vacation, Amen. but I got my max reps in for uh, for dumbbell press and whatnot. 90 pounds uh, per dumbbell, maxed out at eight reps, and Amen. I almost felt like I ripped my chest in half, so that was good. Um, and completely unfed and fasted, so I'm pretty happy about that. I'm back to basically my Amen. afternoon workout lifting weight amount while being fully fed with carbs, etc. I'm doing it now fasted, so I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, so we gifted the sub to Ouija, Scott BTRE, Nick Poor Man RTG. Amen. Thank you guys for the primers, and Lil Nabil, and uh, Ben K11, and SOS. Thank you guys for the resubs. Absolute legends. Amen. Um, absolute legends. Uh, okay. You notice a drop off once you started stopped opening viewer packs. I feel streams like Ozio 
are big because of the content they do. I mean, I never open viewer packs. I did it for maybe a, a couple of days or a couple of weeks here and there, but I just, again, maybe I've told you guys this a lot through my career. Maybe if I did viewer packs, I'd have huge numbers and whatever, but I don't give a shit about opening other people's packs over and over again and pretending like I'm excited about a random player that I got for someone else. I just, I, I, I don't care. I tried to care. I tried to pretend like I cared and it just felt so disingenuous to me, man. And again, I do not mean that to take shots at Zway or Run the Foot Market or Nep or Ozio or Mad HD Gamer or Haber or everybody that opens other people's packs. They're, I mean, most of the community does. But for me, I just don't give a shit. I, I call me an asshole, call me a jerk. I just, I, I don't care. I, I, I have no interest in that. So that might be another thing, right? There, there's, there's clearly content out there that people want to watch, and I'm an old man. I just, I, I'd rather sit here with. 5% or 10% of you guys that want to be here instead of 100% of people I could be watching doing something I don't care about. Right? Um, I don't know. That, that's the only answer I can give. But yeah, I, I don't think I've ever really uh, done that to any extent. like freaking viewer store packs dude what are we doing man ea win ea win man if all people are doing is watching content creators open store packs for 750k or for 5,000 people points you're watching other content creators opening people's money packs dude what have we done man as a community ea win that's why i just told you guys i refuse to even go to the store ever again. The fact that they've turned a lot of the community into people that look for 6 p.m. content to see what's in the store is disgraceful. And again, I don't blame content creators for that. I'm saying it's just fair play to EA. They've they've bred this community like that. They've trained them like dogs to be excited about freaking store pack content. Bro, we are washed as a community, man. The fact that at 6 p.m. you've got like 80 to 90 percent of the community that goes here oh oh my god guys let's laugh at the absurdity of what's here but meanwhile you're 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 still promoting what's here laughing at the absurdity of it but you're still just showing all of this stupidity look, look at this and this is where we're this is why we're here this is our fault i played a part of this as well i'm not gonna lie last year and the start of this year but I, at least I came to the realization of what a fucking idiot I was coming to this section every day on the rich man account. I was an asshole for showing you guys this every day at 6 p.m., man. Thinking I was doing some cool content? No way! This is a disgrace. To me, any content creator worth their salt, worth their opinions they have, should never be in this section ever. Especially in March of 2024, in the worst game release I think we've ever seen. So, anyways, these are just my opinions. Everybody can do their content how they want. You guys can consume Ultimate Team how you want. If you load in at 6 p.m. and just check the store to see what type of weird packs are available, that's all you. Yeah, fair enough. I'm just making my point. That's all. I, I, I do truly believe that what you just saw there a few seconds ago is why this game is so dead, though. How long till they bring out a million coin pack? I don't care. I'm over it. I'm over it, brother. Hey, man. Uh, Marcy, thank you for the 51. Appreciate you, brother. I've given up, given up with FIFA. I'm doing what makes me happy. I, and, and more power to you, man. I am too. The thing is, is as much as I critique this game, and people with small brains and like squirrel level IQs it, it seem to can't understand the fact that I can have these thoughts about this game and criticism about this game and still play this game, right? The rocks for brains dipshits think that if you have these thoughts about this game, we'll just quit. No, I enjoy this game. My, my whole point is I'm, I'm sad that so many people don't care about this game anymore. And then it's fun to have a thought process about why and where and how people don't care about this game. I mean, is it so wrong that I still enjoy this game, but I can also critique the, th the flaws? 
doesn't that show some level of intelligence? What I love is, again, these, these TikTok, Reddit, uh, uh, X... Twitter, whatever you want to call it, uh, football and 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 ultimate team fans think that that's a sign of stupidity, where you could critique a game but still play a game. Uh, no, I mean you should be able to, just like a, a political party, or which I think are a disgrace, the far left and the far right. Like, I I, I used to think that ninety percent of us are somewhere in the middle, but clearly, as we see through the years, where no one has like a middle gray area thought process where your ideas can can shift from from left to right yeah this game is really really good there's a lot of fundamental parts of this game that i really enjoy but holy god the pack section is a disgrace and shame on ea for ruining the game with that but you know what the evos of this game has really saved this game but you know what shame on ea for having the draft be the same garbage for the last 10 years and they haven't improved on that and being able to pull and push and pull from either side these dipshits seem to think that like if you have to just hate everything and quit the game or you have to be an ea shill and shut up and just love everything about the game. Where is the like 90% of normal human beings that can have the interchanging gray areas that you can critique both sides? Like where, how has this happened? How have we gotten here in the video game space? I mean, I find it absurd that it's in the political and economic space people are like that. You have to just die for your, whatever idiot left side you're on or whatever idiot right side you're on. You just have to fucking die on that hill. You, you, you can't have a brain and, and, and agree and disagree with certain things. It's craziness. Uh, again, in the political sp space, I find that insane that people don't have the, the, the brain cells to be able to understand that whatever party they're a part of, there's dumb things going on. There's good things and there's dumb things. The fact that it's bled into gaming and FC24 and Ultimate Team where people are the same way, like you just have to be fully to this side or fully to this side. I, I, maybe I'm an old man. I'm, I'm, I'm freaking Bill from The Last of Us, episode three. I think his name is Bill. I'm that guy. Fuck all y'all. Fuck the world. <laughs> y'all have no brains anymore, man. Everybody's insane. I'm gonna hang out in my, in my basement with my freaking fortified compound. <laughs> I don't know. Man, I want to be Bill when I grow up. Me too, bro. What a guy. Frickin' Ron Swanson, bro. We all knew this just watching Parks and Recreation, but if there's a zombie apocalypse, you want to be friends with Ron Swanson. Unfortunately for you, Bill, a.k.a. Ron Swanson, doesn't want any friends. So figure it out. Much love, Alex. But Alex, isn't that, again, what being part of a community should be, you shouldn't agree with everything I say. I don't want you guys to agree with everything I say. I mean, I, I, I do hope at times that we can all disagree with each other a bit more respectfully. I do find that there's people that come in the channel and maybe they don't like what I say or disagree with what I say, and they're just complete assholes about it. And I am also at fault at that sometimes. Sometimes someone will say something heinously dumb and I just destroy them. Instead, I just be like, bro, that is a stupid take and move on. Or, bro, I couldn't disagree with what you said anymore. And move on. So I can do better there too. But, brother, please, man. I, I do hope in my egotistical rants at times, I don't make it sound like that you guys shouldn't disagree with me. Um, I, I want you guys to, to, to question everything I say. Please. It means at least my community has a damn brain. Hey, man. I mean, again, let's read the room and pick and choose the times to have healthy, healthy disagreements. If you're there disagreeing with how I'm playing the game because, because I'm losing 7-1 or something like that in champs, maybe wait till I'm out of the game and I've, I've punched my tree in my backyard a few times and come back and cooled off. We can have a disagreement, right? Like, read the room. If you're going to sit there and critique everything I'm doing wrong mid-gameplay, well, yeah, I'm going to send you to the gulag. Come on. I, I, I am a human being after all. Right?
The daily play objective is out. Yeah, I'm not going to spam three games in 30 minutes, bro. I'm just going to continue with my life and see where we end up. Yeah, sucker punch my moose. Dude, my moose would think I was tickling it, man. Thing is like eight feet tall. At the at the haunches. Me trying to sucker punch my moose is just my moose thinking I'm trying to have a tickle fight. All right, 84 by three. Let's see. Maybe we can get an early, early good pull. Never mind. You can do any mode. I just do against friends. Uh, brother, like I said, I don't care. <laughs> I'm not too worried about that one daily uh, thing. I'm just playing this game. I, I have, I've removed myself from FOMO. Fear of missing out and panicking for off of one game. They have done this too, by the way, given us three of these instead of the one. I didn't notice that yesterday. Um, so dupe 84. Do I do another PP? Do I ha I don't think I have enough players to do this. Let me double check, but I'm pretty sure I don't. How do I get rid of FOMO? Have some discipline, I guess. And just realize it means nothing anyways. I suppose I need to... Walk the walk and that I talk, though, because... I I'm still playing champs every day. And that would indicate that even I am not able to get rid of that FOMO. Hey, man. Right? Daily play is fixed. Thank you, Atai. Not Atani. El Potenso! Thank you for the 87 months with the primer. Appreciate you, Habibi. Just want to see if I can save an 85. Nope. It's got to be an 84. You don't even need to play the game. Just quit. Three each for each other. Ah, I see what you're saying. It's just got to actually just be a game played. I see. I see. Am I done with store packs forever? I mean, I basically never did store packs anyways. Um, so I've always been against store packs. But yeah, I would say it's fair to say I'm, 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 I'm done with store packs. I'm done with showing you guys store packs. I haven't shown the chat. I haven't even looked at the store in two, three months. Men cried in episode three of The Last of Us. I did. I cried my eyes out on a plane. A lot of people thought I was crying because of the turbulence and I thought we were all going to die, but it was because of freaking Ron Swanson, man. And his beautiful love. I mean, I am as straight as an arrow. Straight as an arrow. I love titties. I love vagina. But man, that love story, that that whole episode between Ron Swanson and his, and his male lover honestly made me cry my eyes out and I love them both dearly and they're beautiful people what a great episode bro what a great episode sure I mean them making out constantly was a bit a bit much but genuinely I, I I don't enjoy watching a man and woman make out I just like bro what ew like I don't want to see that I, I don't I, I don't know I, I find it odd that anyone can sit there and enjoy watching two dudes make out or a guy and a girl make out I, I don't I don't want to watch just two people swapping spit on screen. What it is is I understand maybe for a, a woman it makes them excited or they think it's beautiful, but I'm a I'm a dude, man. I don't want to watch this. Two girls, I don't know. I kind of feel like that's kind of fun, but yeah, get a room otherwise. Now is that because I'm a child of the 80s? I grew up in the late 90s? I don't know. Maybe. But I can't change what I feel and who I am. And even then, two chicks making out is kind of like, well, dude, also, whatever. Do more fun things. Making out, who cares? What am I, 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 I 12 years old watching Sunday, like, a uh, uh, softcore like I used to do? Come on. This is boring. Get to the, get to the meat and bones of the business here. Anyways, now this epi and this entire stream is demonetized, but whatevs. It's all good, man. Who cares about money? Um, Right. Now that I'm done yapping, what are, what are we, what are, why am I here? Oh, right, of course. Let's do a couple of these, too. So much yapping, man, forgot what the hell he was doing. Chat baited you into getting demonetized? How did we get here? 
Well, we're talking about Ron Swanson and his beautiful love affair. That's why. Anyways, back to that. I tried to watch episode one again of uh, The Last of Us with Steph, and I don't think she's sold on it, man. I desperate. I feel like she will love the series, but we watched episode one, and she's like, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. It's like I, I feel like it's just creepy, and I'm not, I'm not. I'm like, babe, you don't understand. I've played these games. Like you don't, you don't understand. This is gonna get so good if they develop the characters properly. You don't understand. You're gonna love it. I feel like the, the idiots that try and tell me that Breaking Bad is good. I feel like that person now. Because I'm like, you don't get it. You just got to watch another two episodes. You're going to be sold hook, line, and sinker. And she's me. She's like, ah, I don't I don't care. I, whenever someone says, dude, you watch a Breaking Bad. I'm like, brother, I watched Breaking Bad seven times. From episode one, I've, I've gone through all, I've done nine episodes. And every time I want to shoot myself in the nuts, I'm so bored. No, but dude, you got to get to season three. Shut the fuck. You want me to waste 30 hours of my life before I even enjoy a series? Ah, oh, it's so good. Shut up. So, I feel like that guy with The Last of Us. Don't be angry, mate. I'm not angry. I'm having fun discussing with my community, mate. L take. Well, it's my take, brother. Show sucks. Dude. You, you're just going to get more mad at me. Um, But better call Saul? I don't even know anything that happens in Breaking Bad beyond the seventh season. And I, I watched a good few episodes of Better Call Saul. I, I find that, that show good. I find that show more interesting than Breaking Bad. So how about that for a take? Better Call Saul is greater than Breaking Bad. And why do these Breaking Bad fanboys not tell me about watching Better Call Saul? Oh, now chat agrees with me. Okay, we're back chat. We're back in business, boys. Now, the question is for me, I didn't watch Better Call Saul really beyond the few episodes either because I keep telling myself, well, I have to watch Breaking Bad before I watch Better Call Saul. So to those of you guys that are fans of both and maybe even agree with my offhanded take of Better Call Saul being good, can I watch it as a separate show entirely? Because I think I'm going to do that. I think that is what I might just end up doing. Because the fact that I'm denying myself of what clearly is a great show is just stupid. It's a prequel anyways. I know, but you know there's always like the inherent, oh, this character's from this, and oh my god, and you know what I mean, right? About these things, like there's... Uh, watching the original is... Um, oftentimes I feel like a necessity. Dude, I almost pulled his way there. Oh my god. How the hell did that happen? <sighs> Jesus. Uh... Yeah, I saw his waist clip. But like, can I ask you guys something here? Not to be a conspiracy theorist in his waist clip. How in God's name did he get rid of Kevin DeBrina at right mid? He doesn't... He doesn't auto-populate there. Did that ponytailed Miami living 
maniac put him in there and then submit him? How is that possible? I mean, I understand auto-completing happening. No, but the Suarez discard clip is the same thing. He dropped his controller and it, pr it pressed a couple of buttons and then it discarded. I mean, I, I actually kind of understand that. He was absolutely cooked. Does Way participate in the in the reefer experience? I don't think so. I feel like I know Way pretty personally, and he never insinuated that he ever was ever interested in anything like that. Or I mean, Zway is high on life. Yeah, see, I feel like that's more of a thing. Zway doesn't need any of that stuff. Zway is the embodiment of what people think doing drugs does to you. But he just lives like that as a normal person. He says that he doesn't, but I think that he does. Zwei definitely does. I, I honestly, I would say Zwei doesn't. I think I think you all are misrepresenting him unfairly. I truly believe Zwei just lives a very straight life. Dude, when we were in Germany, man, Zwei barely drank. Now we all got shit faced one day. And we were all at a hookah bar one day, and I watched Zway smoke a hookah, hookah for six hours straight like he was Gandalf. He literally sat like this. <laughs> and by the end of the night at like 4 a.m. when we went to leave, he was fucked. But that was a one-time thing, and we were all fucked. Like, we were all just a disaster. That was, there's a picture on my Instagram where I, I'm like drunkenly take a picture of a beautiful scene, and I think I write under it, I really wish I could show you guys what is under the scene. And we've talked about this, I laughed about it in basically a podcast with Nep. Under the picture was, I'm not joking, Nepenthes laying on the ground drunk in the middle of the street. Just laying on the ground. Just on the ground. I, I literally had to carry Nep up to the hotel room and help him piss. I basically had to hold Nep's wiener to help him pee and then tucked him in in bed at night and then went to my own bed. So in all of our debauchery, I feel like I would have been the one person that would have seen anything nuts when it comes to Zway. And I'm telling you guys right now, Zway is a straight as an arrow dude, dude. He, 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 honest, honest to God, man, he, Zway has no vices, I'm telling you. He is a fucking, he's a little angel child. That one night drank a bit, a, a lot with us, and 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 smoked hookah and got fucked up. But the rest of it, dude, he's just like a little angel. He barely drank. He, you know, he just enjoyed the time out with everyone. He was super sweet with everyone. Like, I, I, I don't know. I don't know if I agree with any of you guys saying, oh, he definitely does smoke or whatever. Nah, man. I, I, I think Zway does nothing. I think Zway's vices are like uh, that Mexican pop that he drinks and like McDonald's. And maybe pizzas before bed. I, I, honest to God, that's what I believe. I, I, you know. I think Zway is just Zway. People see how unhinged he is on camera. But it's just, that's just him. It's, it's just him, man. He's just, he's just unhinged in general. Kinder Eggs too? Nah, I think Zway, Zway cut off Kinder Eggs 10 years ago. High on Haritos. Yeah, exactly. Too many McDonald's milkshakes. Yeah. Nah, Zway, Zway is a... Zway is a I, I can confidently say whether or not me and Zway... I mean, I haven't talked to Zway in months maybe years no joke I, I hope he's well i try to stop by his stream every once in a while to see that he's good um but me and Zway don't really talk anymore right we're like we've got different lives going on and that's sad but that's life right you know friends move on and things shift but uh there's one thing i'll reiterate Zway is a sweetheart and to this day i would take a bullet for Zway. not even kidding um no matter what time of life, this world would be a better place if Zway was in it and if I wasn't in it. You know what I'm saying? And I don't mean that in some dark, weird, nasty way. I just mean that in general. Like, he is... He's good people, dare I say. And, and I genuinely, truly, in my heart of hearts, believe anyone that has ever met Zway or known Zway through his whole life would, um, would agree. 
he's seriously an absolute top-notch human being. Yeah, top-tier dude. Top-tier dude. And, I mean, I, I know these are, like, you know, old friends of mine or whatever, so, oh, here's Nick just talking up his old friends or whatever. But Nep's the same. Nep's the same, man. Just, just good, good, good dude. You know? And uh, I guess I'm lucky to say that uh, I've been able to interact with those uh, those boys through the years. It's been, uh, it's been fun, man. It has been fun. Shame his ball knowledge is so bad he's a bingo fraud. I mean, but, you know, whatever. So what? He doesn't know everything about football. Who cares? Whatever, man. He knows flags. I mean, people trying to always throw content creators under the bus. Like, man, people have these wild expectations of content creators. So wait, like a content creator in Ultimate Team is meant to be the funniest person ever, the handsomest person ever, the fittest person ever, the most intelligent football knowledge person ever, the best FIFA player ever, they have to go 20-0 every week, and they have to have no bad takes ever, and they have to agree politically with everything you think of in the back of your head. Otherwise, if all those criteria aren't met, they're a fraud piece of shit. And it's all over Reddit that for whatever reason that person sucks and this person sucks and that person's crap and this person's crap and that person's crap. Like, come on, man. Seems reasonable. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boys, have we finally, through all this yapping, gotten through our, our, um, let's go, man. We have. We've gotten through the riffraff that we have in the club. Beautiful. All right, let's, uh, let's get some packs. Ball knowledge is such a cringe term, in my opinion. I mean, look, do, again, don't get me wrong. I, I, I think there's something very fantastic about having a brain and having good football knowledge. I mean, I pride myself in having pretty good ball knowledge, but I'm sure some of you guys would think I don't have good ball knowledge, and that's whatever. That is what it is. I, I don't really care. Um, so, uh, yeah, don't, don't mishear what I'm saying. It's not that I don't think all of those things that I just said are crazy that people expect aren't good things to uh work towards like having a great body is i think in my opinion as vain as it sounds a great thing to try and achieve because that takes a lot of hard work and discipline as a mid 30s year old you don't just wake up one day and have like you're fit and look good you know without a shirt on or whatever like that just that just takes discipline period there's no argument beyond that i would argue similarly understanding fundamentals of football and ball knowledge and 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 to some extent being good at ultimate team or fifa you truly you're not just straight up born with that like that comes from a long time of playing the sport in real life understanding the, understanding the game in real life at a critical level and then putting a good amount of time into whatever iteration of ultimate team you're, you're playing right so again do not get me wrong I, I it's not that i'm saying that having all those things and being good at all those things is a bad thing I'm just saying I find it hilarious that the FIFA community thinks that unless you're the god at Amen. all of those things, you're a fraud. It's like, bro, and meanwhile, all these guys that have those opinions are a suck at all of it. So I was like, what, 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 what are these double standards, man? You know, you got these like heinous ass looking dudes that criticize a girl because she's not good looking enough in a certain department. Like, brother, man, what are you? You're like 80 pounds overweight and you're criticizing a girl because her butt doesn't look good enough for you? Like, fuck off. Same idea. A bit of a wild take for me, but still, I would say the same idea. JB, thank you for the 78. Damn it! I don't want to play another game. Hey, man. Hey, Nick. Have you seen the new Canada jerseys? What do you think? Mm, to the exchange! Uh, no. No, I, I haven't seen the Canada jerseys. No. I wouldn't mind uh picking one picking one up though. I have seen Norway's new kits. I saw Halen posing in them. 
Dude, Canada's uh, away kits for the World Cup were hot, bro. The the all black with the like red Nike swoosh and Canada badge, bro, erupt. I'm so mad at myself I didn't buy one of those when I could. Hello, Joey. Oh, is it is it white this year? The away kit is white? I kind of like the all black kit, man. It was so so sick. The all red home kit and then the uh the all black away. That's too bad. Uh, th will this work? Let me try something here. Will that put the Libertadores player in there for me? Let's see. Oh, damn it. Put too many Libertadores players in there. Uh, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, that didn't work out the way I wanted it to, man. No. Oh, well, it, I mean, it did. I think it did put the dupe in there, but... Not really willing to get rid of all these... High rated batches. Home kit looks cool, the central logo. Okay, let's go rip that 4X pack. Again, I reiterate, we haven't packed anything from 4X yet, have we? It's all been from the 77 by threes and the League SBC packs. Like, we packed a lot of players. But none from the Forex. I saw the England kits. The England kits look awesome. England always have pretty great kits, I gotta say. Again, they're very standard kits. So to me, they look good. I love the Netherlands kits every year, obviously. But uh, I, I've always thought fundamentally England's kits were great looking kits. And uh, this year, for the Euros, is no different. They look great. Yeah, I, I actually, if I had to really comment, I don't find really any international kits to not be great looking. And Keegan, thank you for all hey, your man. messages, man. And Hayden, uh, bots v bots, MBY two J. I did see your guys' messages as well, so thank you very much, man. I appreciate the uh, the YouTube commentary and why you do or don't watch anymore as well. Big Tim, thank you for the 10. Yeah, international kits kind of never stray away from the from the norm. So I never find myself disliking kits. I mean, every once in a while, sure. But there's an L, L kit made. Okay, let me uh, hey, open these. Love you, Nick. Thank you, Lewis. Appreciate the 24, man. I didn't see Germany's away kit, no. South Korea's kits are always great looking. Dude, in my eyes. Brazil, yeah, I mean, I think, I think historically, right? You see a Brazil kit set up, the, uh, the the yellow, blue, and white combo of jersey, shorts, socks, or whatever, top, shorts, socks, whatever you call it, is such a such a historically. I mean, for me, it's the same as the Netherlands, right? The all orange kit or the orange and kit with white shorts and orange socks is just so Dutch. It makes me so proud to see. God, I wish the Netherlands could actually frickin' win a tournament for once, man. It'd be so nice. Check out the new Norway home kit. We were just talking about it, brother. Anyone else finding hey, gameplay unbearable at the moment? Everybody is finding gameplay unbearable, dude. Nobody's playing this game anymore. Like 98% of the community has quit this game. Uh, Nick Norris, thank you for the 43 months, man. Appreciate you. I'm excited for the Euros, man. Will that do anything to bring people back excited with Ultimate Team? Maybe. Maybe we do a Euros RTG or something weird like that. That could be fun. Where we can only build like na national teams. Much love, Nick. That'd be fun. Every day is a new national team or something. I don't know. I'm just speaking. Speaking from the mind. Can't wait for Southgate to start Jordan Henderson. Thank you, Matthew, again. Appreciate the 15.
Dude, remember yesterday in my FIFA rage, I burned, I cooked everybody that had that Werner, and then I realized through my mentions and the Twitch chat and YouTube comments that I basically insulted like 90% of my community. <laughs> Bro, the amount of people that were so up in arms at my take on anyone that runs a Werner. I kind of regret saying that, but I also don't regret saying that because it is true. You know, people will sit there and complain about how broken and awful the meta is and how everyone's ruining the game. And meanwhile, every single person that says that runs Werner. It's like, okay, man. You know, everybody bitching and moaning about how everybody's ruining the game. And then for three months, everybody is running Basha and Sawa. All right, man. Okay. Okay, then. Okay, then, cabron. All right, come on, 4x. This is where this is the uh, 89 player we put into, right? Come on, give us something good. Nope. Same with that Kafu. True, true. I feel guilty putting Kafu back in the team. Shackleton was getting cooked yesterday, but I don't know if that was just my bad play or, or not. I agree. I agree with the Kafu. I, I can cook myself there. I'm, I agree with that. Packed 87 Rafi, GG. Base Kafu got cooked all weekend? Really? That's a shocker. Base Kafu and Thunderstruck Kafu are the best right backs in the game, in my opinion. Well, that new fut birthday, Carlos Alberto, is now the best right back in the game. You know what's funny? I always thought that Team of the Year Frimpong would be the best right back in the game. I have never played against that card. Has anyone? Has anyone packed a Team of the Year Frimpong? I've never played Team of the Year Frimpong, never played Team of the Year Batley. Never. Like, like, how much is that card on the market? Hey, man. Ten months left to go. Keep up the grind, mate. Thank you, uh, Batman. Appreciate the 10. Speaking of Batman, I really feel like I need to watch the latest Batman. I refuse to watch it because of that vampire nerd being Batman, but apparently it's amazing. And again, as a Batman fan, I feel like a fraud not watching it. So I have so much content I gotta catch up on, man. Don't you owe us a game? No, I mean, we already we already packed her, so that's not original, cool, new pull. I mean, I still owe you guys two games minimum, so we'll just do it after 6 p.m. content. Robert Pattinson is good. He's huge as well. I oh, he must be taking all the roids. Fair enough. Committing to the, uh, to the... To the role. Who's the best Batman in my opinion? A lot of people would think I'd say Christian Bale. Um... I don't, you know, I... Oddly enough, I love Batman. I don't know if I have a favorite Batman. I am old, so I've got, I don't want to kind of, <laughs> exactly, I was going to say Keaton, but I don't want to, I don't want to age myself. <laughs> Chat, you see, this is what I mean. Now I know we're all old fucks. You guys just, you guys all just aged yourself. I, I now know we're all the same. This is why nobody's watching the content anymore, man. This is why, because we're all, you guys are all old. You guys are all taking care of your kids. No one's on Twitch and playing FIFA anymore. My freaking, uh, my freaking audience is in their 30s and 40s now, man. God bless. The whole chat said Keaton. TikTok generation doesn't even know what that name is. Hey, man. Keep smashing it, sir. Best out their smile. Do you see his, um, uh, at the Oscars? I didn't pay attention to the Oscars, but I hey, saw man. that clip of Keaton reacting to, um, Arnold and DeVito. Bro, do you think there's a world somewhere... And there definitely is. And now I'm really sounding like a Batman nerd, but I have to just give this thought out loud and maybe it'll happen. Do you think a Batman fan like me and hopefully a lot of you guys could one day maybe get like an old Batman in Keaton 
thing universe, dark, but with Keaton as the as the old Batman, kind of washed up in a few ways or something. I mean, please, wouldn't that be amazing? Anyways, 6 p.m. content time, so let's uh, let's have a look at what we got here. It's Monday, so we do get peepees and whatnot, right? Or well, we had peepees last week. I thought last week. No, what do we? Hold on. EA are kind of predictable and boring. So, if you don't get peepees one week, they give it to you the next. Last week was this, the 77 by 3s. So, I think this week, we'll be getting peepees. Right? You'd think. Still got the crafting upgrade to do, so I'm going to do that first. But this will probably be finished today or tomorrow. Login upgrade. Guys, remember? Do this the second you see it. Do this the second you see it. Bang, bang. Okay. That's out of the way. So we get another objective done there. All right. What do we got? I wonder if we get a bunch of new SBCs. We do get a bunch of new SBCs. Well, look at that. Quadrado, another fun one. Again, kind of boring because it's always the same players. But, dear God. High low work rates is awful, but five star, five star at right back is mental. Wow, that's a Hullet gang right back. Well, if you want to use him at right back, you'd give him an anchor for sure. Bump that strength up strength up to 81. I mean, I think my Alfonso Davies is high-low work rates, and I find him fantastic. No issues at all. And again, we've discovered that the slide tackle playstyle plus is actually very good for right backs and left backs uh, to recover and make big tackles. It is actually um, very, very solid. I used to hate on the fact that this was a useless playstyle, but it's actually very effective. Whip to pass, obviously, so Zwayback is going to be happy with that. Technical playstyle is actually really cool, but it runs you into trouble with wingbacks, I find. You do the tech playstyle too much and run into trouble. Oh my, that's ex Oof. I feel like that's a bit expensive, though. I do feel like that's a bit expensive. I don't know if I'm too hyped about that. Dybala. Lev. Bobby. Okay, so... 85 plus PP. We get two of these a day. Nice. I mean, again, somewhere to put your 84s, right? We don't have uh, repeatable icon packs anymore, so we're going to have to find somewhere to put 84s. We can't put them into the 4X, so that's cool-ish. 80 plus triple upgrade. This is... This was already here, I believe. Right? Yeah, I think that was already here. Is Nikita Paris new? Four days. Dude, is it always the same teams that get special cards? Can we branch out EA, you boring plebs? Is it old? Okay, sorry, for, sorry about that. Uh, is this new? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, there you go. That so this is new. Okay, so they gave us eighty-one plus peepees. I'll be doing these. I wonder what they're. What's the cost going to be? Still only one rare, bro. The forex into eighty-one plus peepees is going to be the move, guys. Oh wow, respect again to EA. I feel like these could be really good. All right, I'm still going to stick to the 77 by 3s get those finished before I start doing these, but in no time we'll start doing these too. Women's marquee matchups. Yoshida was a few days ago. Um Burt's. All right. Did I miss anything, guys? I don't believe so. Okay. I don't did I did I miss anything? No. Now, we got objectives yesterday out of nowhere. Do we get objectives today? I don't know. I don't care about any of that. I don't know why I'm storing it. The pro stuff, no. Live. Six completions. An 81 by three. Falcao. Daily play. They did fix this, by the way. I forgot to kind of mention it. Up to 91 completions, so we're getting there. 
Got ourselves a Schlotty and an 85 by 2. Naisu. I don't think, uh... No, I don't, I don't think there's any new content there, is there, guys? I'm two goals away from the 84 by 5. And I love how you don't actually get a completion. Oh, no, you do. 83 by 5 and 84 by 5. It's not great, but whatever. Over time, at least we got that finished up as a completionist. Evos on a Monday? Probably not, right? They've given us so many Evos. Golden Glow. This is all old. Jack of all trades. Secret stuff. That's old too, right? Birthday magic? Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all old. Alright, so no new Evos. Would you believe? I still have not won by two. <laughs> Dude, I've run an entire weekend league needing a winning by two. An entire week, 20 games. Now, to be fair, I have been glitched, disconnect glitched, lost by cheaters for four games in a row, but still. Man, all I'm trying to do is get 11 wins, and I'm going to get denied by cheaters this week. It's going to be hilarious. All right, I don't think I've missed anything else. Have I, guys? I missed players? Did I missed a player? Who? Kingsley Coman, Quadrado, Cherzinho, a showdown. What? We got the player pick. Oh, look at this. What the heck? Huh? Wait, you, I thought you guys said this was old. I was just asking about this being unoriginal and crap, and you guys said this was old. Well, it's not old. Well, how did I miss a player when you guys said it was old? They were talking about you. Okay. That's a nice card. Can I, can I, can I look at the card, though? Like, how do I... Ah. Uh. Nope, doesn't. Bruv, I wanna, I wanna look at Layla. Oh well, whatever, bro. Okay, pack time. Let's see what we can get out of this. Eighty plus by three is old. Yeah, I know. I know, I know, I know. Okay, I'm gonna bring alerts back. I'm gonna bring the music hey, back. Have I found Fut Birthday? I, I like it. I'm impressed. Hey, Gameplay has been hey, Nick, terribly disappointing, sure but... If you remember me, lol, haven't been on Twitch in four years. Just checking in with everything going on. How's the fam in Lebanon doing? Not great, man. Not great at all, dude. Um, Isam, though, thank you, man. I appreciate the, uh, I appreciate the 25. Thank you so much, and glad to have you back after four years. But yeah, Lebanon itself is doing terribly. And uh, everyone that lives in it, for the most part, unless you're super rich, is doing terribly, too. It's unfortunate. Unfortunate, man. But uh, CKY, thank you for gifting this up to Ezekiel as well. Appreciate you so much, dude. I'm done with the game since your vacation. Yeah, I feel that, man. I feel like you're not the only one, brother. <laughs> I feel like you're not the only one, man. Hey, like, man. a lot of people have given up on this game. Thank you, Durvin. Appreciate the year with the Prime. Much love, man. Oh my god, we're three subs away from 3,000, boys. What the heck? We're back, boys! We're so back! This game is so not back, but we are back. We are so back. Hey, man. RSG? Thank you for the 24. I kind of want to do those 81 plus peepees, guys. Uh, I don't really... Do I have the fodder for it? Now that's what I call it. CKY? Around. Oh, I think you... Oh, wait, hold on. Sorry, I lied. I'm not trying to bait another gifted, by the way. Uh, we're, two nine 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 nine. Top right of the screen. You're a legend, brother. Thank you for three gifteds. 410 all time. What a freaking legend. Nine... You're a beast, bro. Thank you so much. Yeah.
Yeah, we're uh, we're we're sending we're sending money, we're sending money over to family, but it's it's not doing much, man. It really isn't doing much. Thanks for the sub, Trophy! Gifting a sub to Nick's cum sock, and that officially takes us to three thousand active subs. You absolute swine! Thank you, man. I don't know where these accounts come from, man. I mean, it's probably like Run the Fut Markets fan account, or maybe Nick Merckx's fan account. It's definitely not mine. There's no chance I'm that relevant still. Thank you. Oh, I lied! Damn, I did bait it. I did bait it. I did bait it. We're now at 301. Hey, man. GG's. Thanks. Oh, 302. Rummy! I love you, man. Thank you for the 62. Legend. You could share the sock? Ugh. Sounds awful. Thanks for the sub! Three Babbitt with the brand new primer! Okay, in honor of all these new subs, let's do an 84 by 20. This'll work out well. I mean, the good news is here, we'll be able to do a bunch more Forex packs. Let's see what we get out of it. Come on. What's that? Halland! I don't want Halland! Is he a special card right now? Who the hell is that? Sorloff got added to the game! That's a new one! Ah! I have no idea what to do with the 91 Muziala. Wait, no! Sorloth means I have to play a game! L! Makalele? Lengthy, lengthy Sorloth? Dude, I don't play Zwei style of play. I will never be able to make use of him. All right, we ready for danglers? What danglers are we gonna get? Absolutely none. What the f... Wow, that is actually a crazy card though, hey? What the heck? What, is that goalkeeper long throw trait? What is that? Oh, it's the chip shot trait. <laughs> that looks like a goalkeeper long throw trait, man. Wait, he's got rapid as well. Oh my, he might be a fun card. Thanks for the sub! What? Hey, he's only... Oh, he's 130k! Bro, I thought he'd be like a million coins! What the f... There is bear cum! What a freaking pack, man! Wow. Okay. So we got to fit Bearcum and Sorloth in the team. Oh, God. This team is going to suck. <laughs> this team is going to be so bad. Imagine Hullet. Bro, no chance. I'm not that lucky. Uh, okay, so Parejo and Koke. That's kind of a vibe. We can do the 85. So we'll put uh, Koke into the... 85 PP. Is this an 84 by 20? Yeah. Whoa, so why doesn't Burkham walk out? Imagine it was Sorloff that flipped to a Dennis Burkham. Why do I get denied that excitement? I don't get that. Why, why wouldn't Dennis Burkham be part of the walkout animation? Even like a Jamal Muziala to a Burkham, seeing the icon flares. Like, this company, I know I just got a Dennis Bergkamp, but do you understand how dumb that is? Like, that's so shit. Surprise mechanics? I don't I Again, I, I, you guys are going to roll your eyes like, oh, here he is complaining again. But for real, I mean, I think that's a fair complaint. What the hell is this company doing? Wait, oh, I forgot to do gold. I just think that's such a stupid thing that the good card, the best cards don't walk out. Like, what are you guys doing? What's the part? Oh, oh, oh yeah, I forgot. Whoops. 
Muziala and Parejo. So 4x maybe and then something... Uh, well, now I don't know how I would fit all of them in the same t team. Yeah, uh, minor W as well, right? Let's not oversell it. We're in a window. What window are we in? I don't know where to put Jamal, guys. Put him here. Nah, I don't really know where to put him. I don't think... Guys, now that I've tested Makalele... Um, I, I don't know that I'm going to do him anymore. I really, really miss Oberdorf and Viera in my team. Like, Makalele is cool, but he's not that good. He's good, but I don't notice a huge difference between him and, um, and Vieira. Well, it took me, like, seven years to pack a Patrick Vieira. I want to be able to use him, you know? Yeah, Yashin is tempting. I will say Yashin is a direct replacement. Like, we take Hullet out of the team and put Yashin in there. Yashin and Rio is a good shout. What a weird card, though, hey? What the hell chem style do you give this? Shadow, I suppose. How much does it cost? To 16 squads? What in the overpriced hell is this? 90 rated squad! Easy, easy, cheap card. 16 squads. That's my best Nepo impression. Easy, easy, three squads. 16! I can't justify that. Does he wear the hat in game? If he wears the hat in game, I'd be tempted. I'm not gonna lie. But then you've got freaking Cannavaro for six squads. Hold on, an 84 rated squad to use them for five games? What? That's how good he is? All right, tell you what. Tell you what. I'm gonna, I'm gonna test him. I'm gonna test him. I, I won't use the Jamal. 86 was the dupe, right? Arejo. I guess Hullet is coming out of the team if we do this, hey? How does Raheem Sterling earn 325,000 pounds a week and he was doing the things I watched him do in that game against Leicester, bro? I was a big supporter of Raheem Sterling's summertime comeback, but what did I witness a couple of days ago is something that I didn't think I'd ever watch. Especially someone making 325,000 pound a week, bro. What? You think Sterling will be remembered as a Premier League legend? I don't think so, no. Not at all. I mean, I'm sure stats junkies will just look at stats and say he should be, but I don't think so.
Okay. I don't know what the hell I'm doing, man. I I uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know if I want to. Uh, how much does that SBC cost? Am I really gonna commit like a million coins in fodder to to get Yashin? Is he really gonna be that much better than a uh, than a Hullet? No chance, right? It's more than a mil. And do I want to spend a million on a Shadow Chem style? Sorry, I'm, I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, do I want to spend 5k? I guess that we have to see truly how good he is, right? The only way we're going to know that is if we use the Chem style that we're going to use with him. 88, 98. The interceptions part is wasted, of course. SBC is 1.3 mil. You know, the reactions and composure make me kind of excited to try this card out, though. Makes me a little, little bit excited to try this card out. Okay, so what are we doing here? We'll use TT out wide. Um... And we're going to test out Sorloth, right? Oh my god, I forgot about Dennis Burkamp. I completely forgot about Dennis the Menace. Freaking crazy pack pulls, bro. Dude, back-to-back -back days of nuts pulls. Now, left wing... Right mid. DM cam. I don't have a left mid. How would I how would I get this to, I don't have a right wing or or a left mid, so how could I do this? I don't think I can do this, guys. I think I think um uh I think Georgie's gonna have to come out of the team for this. For this squad build. I don't want to use Roared. I was not impressed with her originally. Um, one, two, three. Four, three, two, one doesn't work, guys. Four, one, two, one, two doesn't work. I mean, it very very clearly doesn't work. Four triple two. Can't do that either. I only have one cam. I mean I can do I can do that four triple two. But well, now I have no left-footed player there for uh, for how I use the squad. We can do this. Which way is, is four triple two the other way? Which way is four triple two? Oh my god, I went the wrong way, didn't I? Jesus, so annoying. Yeah, four triple two and put Messi back in the team is an idea. This team is going to get cooked, guys. I don't know how to use players like this. I need the tiny players, man. I'm, I'm going to get freaking cooked. I'm going to have to adjust the entire way I play this stupid game. Yeah, it looks cool on paper, sure, but... So what are we, to get, what are we giving uh, Sorloth, chem style-wise? Hunter? I mean, that sprint speed is insane. Engine, I guess, right? Dude, if I have bad gameplay, all these tall attackers is going to make me rage. You guys are not going to like what you see. 
I'll try Engman, but again, do I, I'm not going to really use his dribbling, so... Dennis the Menace definitely gets an engine. I feel like I might like Dennis the Menace. I'm just going to feel guilty that I'm not using Wesley Snyder. We're going to have to restructure the Dutch team because I'm going to want to use this guy in my uh, Dutch team for sure. Travella plus. I don't know. I, first touch, I just drive the ball at him, I suppose. He'll be able to settle it, no problem. Settle it into a Travella as possible. 93 balance, 92 agility, 98 dribbling, 91 sprint speed, 92 acceleration. Is that six feet, man? Oh, he's five star skills, though. That could be useful. Six foot tall is going to make him very close. Right, whatever. I'm overthinking things. Let's just play. All right, uh, Sorloth, TT wide right, Ginola wide left. There you go, that's the team. So that's how the team will play in game, boys. I'm not sold on it, but we'll see. We'll see. Should be 10 and four right now, but whatever, who cares? Who cares? We're only playing for 11 wins anyways, so this it, this un uh, artificially makes the final two games stressful for you guys, so. High stress to try and get the 11th win. I could lose both these games too here, man. The the, the way I've been playing lately, the, how bad the gameplay is, my, my, my overall mood, I've been a disaster, so I really take gotta lock money. it in here. Take my money, take my bank card. Chris, Just thank you for the 78, man. Well, let's go. I've been disconnect glitched by oh, cheaters okay. four games in a row, GG. Unfortunately. Let's hope it's not another one. They run full gold squads, so... Hey, man. Another month's up to the goals. Oh, damn. What the hell is that? How do you see this one going to? Thanks, Guy. Well, both managers will be reminding the players that it's important to get off to a quick start. We attack the opposition and put them on the back foot from the off. Hopefully we'll get a good game. space and he's finding it hey man this is how the hosts line up well on paper it's a 442 but i think it's more of a 4411 the two forward god sorloth is gone it's working one's gonna drop in and create and look to link up with the terrible other. pass the what the heck is that johan cruyff at dm for this guy what am i what is the lineup for the old boy that's just pure delay. Okay, focus. Focus. The old boys with the ball again. Oh my god, Dennis Burkham, dude, is so clunky. Jesus. Nice tackle, just kidding. What are we expecting to see from him today, Sue? Well, he's got a lot of attributes, but this gameplay makes me want to quit the game. He's that focal point so bad. A player that's going to challenge for everything and won't give defenders a second. Open opportunity. Nice try. That's a pen, by the way. I don't know how that's not a pen, but anyways. Awesome. What the hell? Two bars of power? Why was that such a heavy pass? Nice. What the f... Thierry Henry. Bergkamp. Milinkovic Savage. It's just such clunky gameplay, bruv. Nice tackle. I don't know what to do. It's my fault. It's my mistake. That that was that was on me. I I I, I can't play with these clunky ass players, man. I don't know how to use them. I don't know how to use them, man. It just completely kills my playstyle. So oh my gosh. Trying to do like ball movement and. Milinkovic Savage. Pushing forward now to make the right what choice. What the hell am I doing? Can he finish? I'm sure he <sighs> I've had 
gotta make I gotta make changes. I'm just gonna lose this game if I play with these idiots. I gotta make changes, man. I don't know what to do. I didn't really put on the bench the players that will help me do well here. Ah, fuck, I'll stick with it. Thought he'd scored that. Great goalkeeping. And they can keep the pressure on with a corner. Into the box. Oh, the what a save! Wow! Okay, man. Frank Ribery. Why is Johan Cruyff his left DM? Okay. Also, how did he pass that through, Kafu? Hold on. So, <laughs> I hate this game. I, 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 I fucking hate this game. This game's terrible. Imagine that being how you score. Jesus, Lord have mercy. Double tap the R1 button to, to, to read the tap in, and my player just leaves the tap in open. Imagine being rewarded for playing like that when I read the play perfectly, too. Ah. Here we go again. What the hell is that pass? That's a good ball. A shot, but then he went for brute force when a cool head was needed. Ibrahima Kanate. What is this guy doing, man? Sour. The old boy's regaining possession. Stupid. I thought he dragged Kafu out of position. That's again, that's my fault. That's no one else's fault but mine. Nice tackle. The old boys pushing the ball forward. What can they do from here? But not the end AI involvement times a million. What are you gonna do? Fuck's sake! Nice tackle. Just kidding. Fuck me, right? Jezinho. Ronaldo. Burkham. Messi. And it's there. All right. There you go. You bring more mobile players in, and I'm immediately able to do better. Nice, Dennis. Dennis Bergkamp just missed a simple pass there. Are you fucking kidding? What is that, man? How does he misplace that easy-ass pass? 
I'm so bored of this game, bro. Just being pure RNG. Tackle after tackle, going back to your opponent, even though they make infinite mistakes. Look at this stupid shit, bro. What a fucking terrible pass. Game forcing my players into mistakes, man. What is this? Once again, sit there and have a 20 minute conversation at the start of the day, wondering why nobody's watching this game, nobody's playing this game. Freaking, you get 45 minutes of an example as to why nobody cares about this game anymore. Yeah, you get eight real life minutes of watching gameplay and you get an exact understanding as to why no one plays this fucking shit game. That's why the viewership for this game is in the mud, man. Who wants to watch this trash? Just watch morons dive into tackles over and over again with the same God Squad players and be rewarded for it. Look at him dragging players out of position. Doesn't matter. Dennis Burkham takes a delayed touch in the pass and it's fucked. Hey, Amen. Happy 69, Nick. Hope you and Samai Gudo. Just button clicking, man. Just button clicking. Moving forward well. AI controlled Sawa read that pass across, dude. As I cooked his whole team. Sweet. Amazing. How has he made that pass? From the stats, they're playing the ball around really well. The movement and the interchanging in positions have been good. But now it's about adding that quality in the final third on a consistent basis. Now it needs a good ball in. It's a penalty, and they could give themselves the advantage here. Well, no card, just a warning. So I'm sorry. What? Amen. For the lead once more. And he does the job from the spot. Mm. To be fair, I didn't press a button there, but that is a pen, yeah. I don't know what the hell Rio did. I didn't even press I didn't press tackle or anything. That's a pen, but I mean I I I, I swear on my life I didn't press tackle there. I'm gonna lose this game. This guy is the worst player I've played all weekend. God bless it, man. Oh man, I'm so over this game, man. Wow! Hey, man. 
happy 54 months nick sorry i've not been in the streams much been working and saving Are you to fucking drive kidding me with this game man hit my job but only in it for money then once i drive i'm out anyway love the streams always and 28 heart and 28 heart and 28 heart how is his ai so good man I'm trying to make these like extra passes, quick passes into spaces that are hugely open, and his AI just reads everything, man. Old boys moving the ball forward with real purpose. Milinkovic Savic. Oh, what a really good save that was. Oh, it's off the woodwork. That's really unlucky. What a brilliant attempt. Just look at the technique. It's perfect. What a goal that would have been. Bro, get me off of this dead game, man. Close enough here. And the shot thwarted. What? Who is that pass going to, man? Good work from old boys to win it back. Sam Kerr. Now to deliver a good ball in. Dude, did you see how dumb and bad Messi's touch was there? I'm so, I fucking hate this game. Literally just who has the better connection gets all the bounces. It's fucking ridiculous, man. Well read to gain possession. Could be a chance to break here. I shot first time there, so he wasn't able to move the keeper, and the keeper still makes the save. And not to mention, why does she finesse that? Why doesn't she just leather that? It's a regular shot. Why does she finesse it with her left instead of stepping into it with her right? Like, it, you can't explain any of this, man. You just can't. You just can't explain any of this. Is that real Ferdinand completely out of position? Yeah, it is. I don't know if I pulled him out of position. I think this guy's now just time wasting. Yeah. This is a promising looking attack. Look at that bounce. Milinkovic Savage. Could they take advantage here? Time starting to be the enemy now. Messi, it's there. Time running out, and they've got the goal that draws them level. What a nuts game. Maldini. No way he makes that pass. The pass is incomplete. Nicely won. Now if they score from this, they'll surely win the game. This could be it. Oh, can you believe Skill always beats bullshit luck and connection advantage, my friend. Skill always beats bullshit, luck, and connection advantage. Yeah, you pause and be toxic like a little loser that you are. Your R1 byline cheese. I just did a freaking power shot, fake shot, cancel ball roll to cook your Maldini hey, to Travella it in the net. Hey, Nick, That's what I had to do. Stupid ass game, man. I've been you fucking kidding me, bro? Now. What Stay a fresh. joke. That's the level that I have to go under pressure in the 90th minute, man. After freaking Bergkamp, Thierry Henry, God knows how many players missed chances. What a disaster. What a freaking disaster. Messi and Ronaldo, of course, coming up big. Imagine my shock. This is why I need that Messi, man. I need that fuck birthday, fuck birthday Messi. So, so bad. Ronaldo hooking up Messi. So that will do it for today. And it's for the uh, equalizer. And then Ronaldo doing it all on his own for the game winner. Crazy. Crazy. Crazy, man.
Dude, so I did the double tap R1 to cover the... Look at... Bro, guys, 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 guys. Why is that mechanic in the game? I double tap R1 for Yashin to stay with the... Was to stay with Jerzinho. Yashin's on R1 double tap. Look at what he does. He just walks away from him for no reason. I'm not sitting there depending on the game to help me. I did a mechanic in the game. You guys saw it in game. I double tapped R1. I'm trying to cover the pass, the sweat, and at the same time, I held R1 for Yashin to cover Jerzinho. Look at Yashin. While being told to mark the player, he just walks away from him for the tapping. Leo Messi comes on and scores. I don't even remember Messi doing this. What did I do here with Messi? Uh, Messi's Travella. What a god. Then he gets a, I think, a horrible pen. But anyways, it was a foul, but... Uh, check bailed me out there. You can't pretend like you didn't. This one was a bit frustrating as well. This was a beautiful manual run. Open. Unlucky. Cristiano just cooking with that, dude. That would have been such a nuts goal. Ah! And then Leo Messi. I think Ronaldo assisted him, right? Yeah. The composure there to do the, uh... Oh. Shame on me for finessing that, bro. I should know better. The, the fact that I tried to finesse that with Messi near post is the most intelligent choice if you understand football and the way this game plays out, right? But if you know what's broken in this game, never in your life should you finesse from there because finesses Amen. never go in. Great so I just got today. stupid lucky Great that the finesse worked there. The as much as that was the right choice with this game's current gameplay and meta, finesses are broken, that never works. This was sick though. Oh my God. That power shot into a ball roll cancel into the Travella to cook Maldini. Wow. Um, Kale, thank you for the 19 month resub. Christopher, thank you for the 42 months, man. Dale, thank you for the 54 months. Seb, thank you for the 20 months. Dilatron, thank you for the 69 months. Gamer Rage, thank you for the 28 months. I appreciate you guys. That 15 minutes of gameplay plus the four disconnect glitches to cheaters in the last four games. So five games. Four disconnect cheaters and then that game is exactly why nobody's playing this game anymore and nobody's watching this game for the most part. Other than 6pm content and a little bit of viewership here and there. Um, but that that is, I mean, the question that we started, that asked at the start of the, the stream today, the start of the grind today, got answered in that last game. That is why. Yes, maybe my content isn't what everybody wants. Yes, all the content creators now um are all doing the same thing so viewership is a bit boring because of that but fundamentally what you just saw in gameplay there is why nobody gives a crap about this game that guy should have been dead and buried within the first 40 minutes but the disparity of gameplay the lag compensation clearly him playing on a way better connection um is just a disgrace i don't know if i want to do yashin guys I just I don't know. I don't know if I I don't know if I want to do Yashin. I might just put him in here, you know. It's two eighty four rated squads. That's so random. I think I'm gonna put him in here. This is stupid as well, but I I think I'm just gonna put him in here. What a freaking pack that was. Dennis Bergkamp was okay. Nothing special, but he was okay, which is. Again, very sad. But it's his height. In bad gameplay, man, that height just ruins the card, unfortunately. I mean, I don't even know if I need 83s, but I might as well just put 83s in there, right? Slow agility and fast gameplay. Um, I, I mean, the last few days I've only noticed really slow gameplay. I haven't uh, noticed anything fast, no. There we go. Yes. 
Nep was saying he'd be down for Helldivers later if you are. Yeah, I'm down. I'm down. I think the, the, the problem is, is Nep come, comes back at like 10 p.m. UK, right? Pretty late. So am I going to play Helldivers by myself for three hours before? Am I going to play Ultimate Team for three hours before? God bless. I don't want to do that. Uh, am I going to play Tarkov for three hours and then go to Helldivers and then go back to Tarkov after? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. Sleep. I mean, there's only so much menu grinding I can I can uh, live with. And again, that game, once again, was a one goal game. So I still haven't upgraded Junior Firpo. God bless it all. Dude, I, this is maybe the only thing I love right now about this game. Is everything is so expensive. The menus are so delayed, though. Tickle Cletus in the backyard. Bro, I, I really do wish I had a project car that I could just, like, set up an IRL stream and just go for a drive with you guys. Just row through the gears, drive to some lake, and just hang out at the lake and talk to you guys, man, about random crap for a couple hours at least. I would love that. I would love that. Again, I know it's not the content that really anybody would want to watch, but... Driving streams is fun to watch. I haven't, uh, again, I don't really watch IRL streams, but I haven't seen if other people are doing it or how they're doing it. Maybe I'll start consuming some IRL streaming content to see what other people are doing. Red Dead 2 playthrough. It's too, I feel like it's too soon. It's March. We usually do stuff like that come July, August, but I mean, I'm in disbelief that I'll be, th I'm thinking about doing stuff like that right now in March. Hey, man. Glad to be back. Not been good the last few weeks, so finally good to be uh, back. Oh, well, she, happy to have you back, man. Sorry to hear that, dude. All right, well, Ginter means we go do that pee-pee. Do we do a real reveal for this crap? Eh, why not? Canadians in cars getting coffee. Yep. Canadian in car getting coffee. I think that's even more applicable, isn't it? Practice run for FM. I'm not uh, overly interested yet. If I'm doing football content, I'd rather do ultimate team, really. Which, uh, again, I understand is a bit nuts to say, considering it's so dead, but I, I still do enjoy this. I mean, again, gameplay does blow, but as annoying as that game that I just played is, I still have some sort of dopamine and excitement for beating that guy. That makes sense? Like, I'll, I'll complain about this game until I'm blue in the face, but I still really enjoyed clutching up, bringing on Ronaldo and Messi, and fighting through that awful gameplay to still get an unlikely win. That still felt good to me. But, again, it's fair to call out the fact that because of what I had to go through is why nobody cares about this game. Because who wants to deal with that on a game-by-game -game basis? That's so trash. Alright. You know what? I don't... This is such a dead pick. Yeah, why, why am I... I was just about to say, why am I doing a reveal for a dead pick... I'm pretty sure that's one of the rarest pulls you can get. What the f... Hey, man. I know nowadays this isn't considered probably a super meta god card, but dudes, this card is crazy. 
What the hell is my luck today? I've lost track of all the top tier pack pulls we've had. What the hell is this? Zen, thank you for the uh, 17, brother. I appreciate you. And game time again, bro. What am I doing to myself here? All right, so we'll take Millie Savage out of the team. Uh, we'll bring Patty Cakes back in. I think I've decided I'm not doing Makalele. I do like these loans to test out cards. I'm not doing Makalele, though. Um, what the hell has happened to my team? Um, yeah, so Millie Savage we'll put there. Oh, he's, is he only a center mid? That's going to make things a bit annoying. What the heck? Can't do 41212, two, dude. I don't have a DM. Obviously. Four three one two. I only have two center mids. Isn't there like a four, one, three, two I can do though? Maybe? No, I don't think so either. Four, five, one. Four two four. I don't have a right wing. Guys, how many people are gonna tell me to do four one two and two? Jesus Christ. Four one two and two works. I don't have a DM. Valverde works at right wing. In what formation? What formation? 4-2-4? Four, four. I don't have two center mids, guys, in that case. Chat's trolling, right? Chat's 100% trolling. Um, I think chat's trolling. There's no way they're serious. I think this will work, though. This will work. In a uh, four, five, one. I believe this will work. I mean, Sorloth kind of sucks anyways, so. That card is so trash. I mean, you have to be a, like a, just a crossing merchant to like that card, surely. Yeah, this works. There we go. I'll try that. Now, what do I give him? Uh, oh, wow. Dude, this is a nice card, man. Like, a really nice card. I think he definitely needs an engine, and I don't think I even have an engine. Oh, I do. I have one left. Zway loved his card last night when he went two and four. <laughs> That sounds about right. Yeah, of course he would love him while spamming crosses while losing four games out of six. That sounds very way. <laughs> that sounds like the most Zway thing I've ever heard. That's mean. That's not nice for you to say, but it is funny. It's okay, bro. I barely got 11 wins this week. I can't really make fun of anybody. Uh, 
Uh, what do you mean, CKY? Played the same guy? Congrats on beating him. It's probably a stream sniper, CBA. Thoughts on Millie? I really like him a lot. As a box to box mid, he's really, 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 really good. Really, really good. Very enjoyable. I don't know what chem style is the best for him, but uh, very enjoyable card. And a warm welcome on what is a fine day for <clears throat> Never celebrate. To be Good name. My name is Derek Ray. I like that. Here on the commentary gantry and sitting next to me. That's an give you interesting team. Is Stuart Robson. And we have Benfica fan? Final game of the Champions Finals coming right. Uh, Tevez is going to be interesting. I don't know if I've ever played that Tevez before. Mixed bag throughout these finals. They just couldn't put a good run together. On their day though, they're a decent side. Let's hope we see that today. What the hell? Well, here is the lineup for the hosts today. Lev Yashin begins in goal. Cafu starts with Alfonso Davies in the fullback positions. And up what front, the Gianfranco Zola. Wow, I, I did not mean to do that. Dad Gino, you just stopped a 100% goal. What the hell? Nice, Yashin. Just kidding. Uh, screw making a tackle, I guess. In this system, they have to do a lot of work and at times will be overrun. But if the wingers play well, it should be a very interesting match. Oh, I got cooked. Onto Cafu. Really important piece of last ditch defending. Well, Federico Valverde. These bounces just feel so RNG now, man. Whatever they've done to this game, they've just made it. Look at that. They made it feel so RNG, bro. You can turn and pass through set. I don't know how that's not a pen. That's the worst tackle I've ever seen. I hate this game. I don't know what is going on. I, I'm lost. I'm lost. I'm lost, man. The current update has made me so confused with this game. Feels like every intelligent decision gets punished with a weird, stupid pass, and every brain dead pass where you force the ball into defenders works. See what I mean? Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. Am I seeing? And that's a foul somehow. Just don't know, Derek. Mm. Just a real lack of composure in the end. They should be ahead now. Ginola. And he has options available. I have no idea what's going on. On to Bergkamp. It's to the line. Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. Yashin versus Yashin. Here we go. Fired over by Messi. <laughs> That's my mistake. I'm trying to do a bicycle kick with Yashin, bro. What is wrong with me? Oh, no. Very alertly winning back possession. And just wow. failed to keep the ball in play that time. Thank you. And the referee sees I don't know why Yashin is here, but... What? Can he put them ahead? And a fine stop. <sighs> My fault again. To add to his portfolio. Coman. Coman. Coman, he failed to hold it. Why, when I'm getting pressed, even though I'm in a possession playstyle, no one shows for the pass in the in my third? Why, even though I run possession playstyle, which literally says in the description that players move into spa space, why, when I'm getting pressed by 14 players, does no one move into space? They all just walk behind defenders. Well, the old boys have certainly enjoyed more of the possession over the last 15 minutes, as those stats highlight. Hang on a minute, Stuart. 
Oh, I can't score to save my life, bro. What is going on? How is Henri not scoring there? What are the mechanics of this game, man? Offensive mechanics are just so dead. Wow. Neat passing, confidence on the ball. Zola. Bergkamp. Went through beautifully by Bergkamp. Well, I must what? So oh, I didn't think that was offside at all. Offside the verdict, Stuart. Well, he's just too eager there. It's the right run, but he's made it too early. Cafu. Well, that's the sign of a well organized defense. Bodies forward, and the break looks off. That's a beautiful pass. Oh, in with a chance. Chance still on. Oh, terrific goal. How about that? Absolutely magnificent. <laughs> I am a moron. You want to know why? This is an infuriating, delayed, shit competitive game. It's 0 0, and I had the audacity to dub double ball roll his goalkeeper and then L2 skill shoot it in the net. Like I'm beating him 6 0. What is. Dude, sometimes I wonder if I have a brain in this stupid, big, stupid, fat head of mine. Why are you trying to play like your freaking R9 Rai when it's 0 0, you idiot? Just put it in the net, man. Like, what am I doing? A chance to whip it in. Oh, that was actually really sick from Dennis Bergkamp. I feel like I should have scored that. Oh, well. Like, what? Just score, bro. Someone told me that Bastoni sucks. I've played Bastoni three times this weekend, and he's been good every time I've played him. I sort of got half the time chat are just trash, and will just say random shit to feel like they have an opinion on the game. I don't know in what world Bastoni is a bad card. Right card. It's not the first time I've seen... What the hell? Not the pass he had in mind. That's a Another sick ball. What? What just happened? Well cleared away, but at the expense of a corner. I did a one half of a bar of power to play the Across to Bergkamp for a tap in. Okay, again, I should take my own advice. Why the hell am I not just shooting there? Oh. Wow. Okay. I suck. Just finish. Finish my nuts in your mouth. Sorry. So the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match. Uh, yeah, I use Makalele. He's really good, but I don't think he's better than Vieira, so I'm going to just keep Vieira. That's cool. I love stats like that because that means I'm going to lose the game 2-1 in the second half. Dennis has got to go, though, man. He's just nowhere near as good as Wesley. Oh, let me get rid of uh, Junior... Your quote too. Bro, if someone clipped that, that pass was on a hundred. Wow, what the fuck are these passes, man? Leo, Leo. Bro, that's got to be 2 nothing. What is happening? The football I'm playing is class. Which is probably why I'm not winning uh, by more goals. Nice tackle. Intercepted effortlessly. A decent position for the old boys to be in. Snyder! I mean, bro, I am, no matter how bad this game is, my football intelligence, my tiki-taka is fucking second to none. I don't care what, how many haters I have. 
I don't care, dude. The way I create these passes and these goals, bro, it's as if I'm actually playing in good gameplay. Nuts, dude. If I had a little bit more composure, I'd be even sicker. Wesley Snyder. Henry. Back with Snyder. Snyder. And the keeper. Uh, I'm sorry. How in the flying fuck is that not a pen, you dumb game? What? On the ball, Bastoni. That's offside. From Tevez. And a timely intervention. What can the old boys do from this position? Oh my god, what am I doing with my passing? I'm trying to be too spicy with it. I mean, dude, I'm nuts, though. To be fair, I am nuts. By the way, what the hell is happening? For real? What the fuck? How is that not a pen? <laughs> what is happening? What have you done to this game, you idiots? How are you making this game worse as time goes on? How? How are you doing this? You morons! No, don't go out of bounds. <sighs> Greatest song in football. I don't care what. What your allegiances are. I, I guarantee you, if you have a brain, even if you're a Man U fan, you would agree Marching On Together is the greatest song in football. Okay, so wait, he just got the bounce back? How many bounce backs is he? Yeah, that's murder! He should go to the Hague for war crimes! He just killed Vera! He just broke his freaking neck! What is this gameplay? Dude, Vera, are you okay? Alessandro Bastoni. Good through ball. What the f What is he? What is this passing? What is happening? My guy's just clicking buttons. Ah! High press. Vieira. Teammates available. Ah, it's offside, isn't it? No, it's not. What the hell? Okay, so that was a pass to Henri, but who did it try to play the ball to? Uh, but then he makes that pass! I want to rip my dick off! Now, what can Lionel Messi do from here? Davies. Oh, that almost worked. That was a sick pass. What the f I swear to God, if I don't win by two goals, I'm going to break something. This has been like 15 games trying to upgrade this stupid junior Firpo. Fantastic ball, Henri. But in fact, he's taken up an offside position. <laughs> this has actually been my 12th attempt to get a two-goal win. Stupid weekend league. I either get disconnect, glitched, lose, or barely win by one goal. Like, my last 12 games have been that. Actually, it's probably been more than 12 games. Get cooked, dude. Get cooked, dude. It goes to show that everyone's running high press and it doesn't affect them. This guy's whole team is on zero stamina, but it doesn't matter. Nice bounce back. Love that. Wow, his whole team actually has no stam. That's nuts. Wow, I don't think I've seen that in a long time. 
It's cool that it doesn't affect uh, gameplay whatsoever for your opponent, though. That's a great pass from Fetty. And pushed through by Ginola. Snyder through on goal. And a goal! Hey! You know uh, your team name? I haven't celebrated once against you. Hopefully you're happy. In goes the cross. I mean, that was meant for Schneider, but whatever. And he's in an offside position. From one side of the pitch to the other. We're gonna see you win. Bam, and up, 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 up. We are so proud. I almost want to let him score just to see if he celebrates. And that puts him in position. Good effort here. Well, Tried to green time that. I bottled it. By the keeper. Gozens. Frank Reichard now. Carlos Tevez. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. Snyder. Uh, oh! I put two and a half bars of power on that. I thought I'd twat the ball at the net. That would have been a cool goal. Messi hitting that on the volley. Yeah, we absolutely cooked this guy. Nice. Were any of my some of my goals were legit good goals, right? Or no? Were they all crap? Well, this is just a breakaway. But seriously, I'm still mad at myself that I double ball rolled and then L2 shot that. Like, just put it in the net, you idiot. Anyways, um, Leo. Oh, cooked. Oh, that's pretty basic. That felt cool. That was a nice acceleration in this, into space. That almost never works, that skill move. At least not in that situation. That's pretty... Uh, the build-up to this goal was good, but the goal, obviously, the final part of that was dead. It's just a sweaty goal. And this is pretty basic as well at this point. The daily play games have been re-upped, but it isn't tracking my progress anymore? Really? Interesting. What the hell is that? Huh? Wait. Champs rewards give you a campaign mixed PP now? Is that new? Guys, is that new? Nice. I didn't get that. Dude, what in God's name is my luck today? What the hell? I, I've lost track of all the pack pulls I've hit today that are actually good. This is ridiculous. The first time I've just basically stopped at 11 wins in about three months. Usually we go for 14 or 16. Really, we go for 16 wins every week. And I don't think I've ever received anything good. He's discard? Well, he looks great. I mean, I don't really care what his price is. That's still a great pull as much as you don't want it to be. That's a sick pull. I mean, that is kind of decent as well. 4x galore. And then I don't really know what this is about. Uh, I don't know. What do I do here? I feel like, do I go for Stanway? For the 4X? Zambo? Road to the final. Wait, who the hell are Napoli playing?
they're out. Yeah, so they, that doesn't make any sense. I feel like I just go for the rating, right? We just go for the forex. Stanway would be cool because she's going to get a few more upgrades for sure, but the one I have is also um, untradeable, unfortunately. And I, I, I don't even think I've used her yet. That's too bad. If only there was... I get... So interestingly, like, if I discard that Stanway and as an 89 and I wait to see if she gets upgrades, can I undiscard her? Recover her, if you will, and she becomes a 92? Is that how that works? You know, that's kind of cool that you can do that, but I don't give a shit, man. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not going to sit here and wait for 25 days to freaking recover a card that is now a 91 to put into an SBC. I don't know why I even asked that damn question, man. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> Who gives a fuck? This game is washed. I don't care that I can even do that. Let's move on. <laughs> sorry for asking about that like I gave a shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't care. I, I honestly, I don't even know why I asked you guys. I don't give a shit. Um, all right. We got 51 players to add back to the club. That's good enough for me. Uh, so I think what we've learned here with these this final game is in the attack, I need the smaller players, man. I need Wes back. This uh, Dennis the Menace is average at best, unfortunately. Um, I'm going to keep Wesley in the team for the time being, though. I'm going to keep... I'm going to keep TT in the team for now, but I truly believe that Cristiano and Sam Kerr are better than him at striker. Um, that makes me sick to say that, but it is true. And I think we finally, it took, yeah, 12 to 15 games to finally get that two-goal win. But we got it. So Mr. Junior has gone from an 81 to an 86. He's okay. He's average at best. And then tomorrow, or today, I guess, depending on our pack luck here. And if I want to go use... Well, I guess I got to go use... What's his name, right? Shoot, I got to use Poulis, uh, Pouli, Polly Pockets. Pooley pockets? So what do we do here? And am I not using Haidema in the other one? Wait, hold on. This gives you a plus... What does this do? Plus four skill moves. So really, you almost want to super juice someone's skills. So Becky would benefit from getting a boost. But Xavi a plus one is not that exciting. Wait, weren't wasn't Haidema gonna be a five star five star with the Jack of All trades? So she, you get a plus two weak foot and a plus one skill move out of this one? That's crazy. Plus four skill moves, plus five weak foot. That is nuts. You basically play pay 100k for five star, five star. I mean, that is very dope. I like that a lot. And then does that mean that maybe we use... Georgie here? Wait, I can't use Georgie? Oh yeah, I can. Because this one... Makes him 5 star, 5 star.
It's not an amazing card compared to his 88. Passing is still terrible. What happened to my 88 Georgie? I have him. I just like improving this one too. I said I kind of wanted to max out every version of Georgie that's available. And then at the end of the year, we can look and see like which one truly is better. The 88 one that we have uh, that originated from the uh, 85 objective card or is my 70 rated silver Georgie that I've been upgrading uh, better, right? You can have multiple evils of the same players as long as their base card is different. So if Georgie gets an inform as well, I'll be able to upgrade him too. So I can have three upgraded Jorginhos. You just can't upgrade three silver cards of his or three inform uh, versions of him. Yeah, because this one will just mean that Haidema goes to a five-star, three-star, which is kind of dead. No Bamford Evo? I can't. He's got two playstyles, unfortunately. So it shows that I can use him, but I can't. Doesn't let me. This Bamford card is actually pretty damn fun, too. Be sick to make him 5-star, five 5-star. Five star. I, I would have spent a 100k on this Bamford. Easy. He just has one too many playstyles, unfortunately. Because he would have gone to what? An 89 rating as well? 5-star, five 5-star? Five star? That would have been fun as hell. I mean, there's an argument in there, in my opinion, that all of these Evos, they should have just done them and they don't give a playstyle plus. And they don't have playstyle requirements. Like, these two Evos and these two Evos should have not touched playstyles. Again, it would have opened in another couple of thousand players for people to upgrade, which would have been fun. Right? Right? Then we also have Jack of All Trades, this one. I don't know, like, which is... This is the one I don't like. Believe it or not, this is the one I'm not a fan of. And uh, the reason why I'm not a fan of it, because, again, is it just limits... Like, why is this 200k? Does anyone know specifically why this one is 200k? Versus the other one? Does anyone have any idea why that's the place? The tech playstyle adds another 100k. Really? They really value the tech playstyle plus. I desperately want to do this Van Basten, but I know it would be a complete waste. I, you know what, man? Not gonna lie, this might actually make this Van Basten good. This might actually uh, make this Van Basten good. Um, five star, four star, high, high. I want to use Schneider in that 200k Evo. Wait. This base, you can use base Schneider in here? Oh, that's heartbreaking for me. I love my upgraded Schneider, but giving him a five-star five, five star skills would be so crazy. Sucks that I can't use... I wonder why... Actually, let me look at that. I wonder what the, um, what the holdup is. 
if I go Seri A uh, and then I go special. Oh my god. So loses out on a little bit of physical, one dribbling, and he has two playstyles instead of one. Oh my god. Can you imagine how good this card would be? Wow. Oh my god. The problem is, the reason why I love this card so much is because of the Tiki Taka playstyle he now has. So my dream would have been if I could replace the uh, this incisive pass with the tech playstyle. That's the ultimate dream. That I would have absolutely loved. But you know what? Probably during Team of the Season, there's going to be an SBC that allows me to give him three playstyles. So I'm going to hold on. I, I love this card. I very much love this card. I finally fixed Schneider with that uh, last Evo. So I'm, I'm happy about that. Yeah, my problem right now is just deciding what the hell I want to do. There's actually too many Evos currently. Like, what's the... These birthday magics, I don't know what to do. So this is the super boost of skill move. So I think I'm going to definitely do one for Georgie. But Becky, for example, I should probably do the paid one for her, right? Not this one. Because this one just gives skill moves, so she'll be three-star weak foot still. She'll still be pretty useless. I'm not going to do Simmons because he's just going to get a thousand and one special cards. Um, so I decided I really wanted to do this Simmons big time. I think that's a sick card. But a big part of me just understands that there's going to be so many special Chavis. That uh, I just think this would almost be a waste. Which is why it makes me want to use a Canadian or something. So, for example, Kone, Georgie. I'm, I'm, I'm actually kind of tempted to go for Kone and Georgie here. Because Kone's got the four-star weak foot. So, look at how cool this Kone card looks, guys. Look at how cool this Kone card looks. Look at that. High medium, five-star, four-star with those stats. That's a nuts card amazing amazing box to box mid i would give him an engine as well because his shot power and long shots are sick this card might genuinely keep archie gray out of my team he might seriously keep archie gray out of the team i think i'm gonna do i think for birthday magic i'm gonna do ruter and kone guys what are we thinking? Yeah, I'm going to definitely do Kone. I'm going to just go for it. That's the next grind now. Hell yeah. What do I got to do? Score two, play three. Erupt. I'm going to have to restructure the whole team here, but that's okay. Does he count as a new special? No. He does, though. Um... Center mid or DM. Left mid, cam, right wing. Can I do a 4 one, two, one, two in any way, guys? Left wing... Right wing. Oh, I can do like a 4 3 3 4, I think will work. I believe oh, I went the wrong way again. I believe a 4 3 3 4 works, guys. Let me double check this. Confirm. Thanks to Thierry Henry, I think it'll work. So. Oh, no. Ah. Uh... I 
think so. Yeah, there we go. Cool. That's a dub. That's a fun ass team, actually. I like. I, I really like the look of this team. So, what are we giving Pulisic here? He's got insane dribbling, terrible pass. Oh, uh, dead eye for sure. Dead eye for sure, bro. I. That's just delay. <laughs> that is just delay. Wait, did I not give him an engine? Oh, you gotta give him an engine. I think we use this card on the main account. I'm tempted to give him a maestro. Let me show you why. Do I really need a crazy amount of beyond 81 and 81 for agility and balance? I don't actually think so At uh, as a box-to-box. -box. And the boost he gets for his shot power and long shots and his reactions and his passing in vision, I think maybe a maestro might be better. Yeah, he loses a bit of pace. 77 finishing. Yeah, you know what? Archie Gray has like 80 finishing and he bangs goals like crazy for me. So I think it'll be all right. Then, then he's going to have five-star skills, which is going to be pretty sweet. All right, let me uh, double check where my setup is. So, TT... Pulisic, Snides, Leo, Kone, and Vieira have to swap around. All right. All right, well, rules are rules, right? We hit Pulisic, so we got to play another game. Um, I guess we'll play, start our playoffs run here for one game. I don't know if I'll find anyone right now at this time of day on a, on a random Monday, but we'll see. Who the hell is going to be playing playoffs? Maybe I have to play Rivals. On a Monday, that seems a bit odd, right? I played Birthday Coman a bunch this weekend. He did nothing against me. I don't know if that means anything, but... Hey, man. Hey, Nick. First time catching you live for a while. Remember watching you in class as a kid for FIFA 14 now in FC 24 room getting ready to teach one lol. Hope you and the family are well. Damn. As if. Thank you for the eight months, dude. We're well. Um, Everyone is good and happy and, and happy to hear that your life is going well too, man. Come on as 83 composure. He's ass. Well, conditions really couldn't be any better here tonight. A very warm welcome to you on this fine evening. Palermo AC. Here, and Sue Smith is here to commentate with me. And we've got the opening match from the Champions This is a hacker. Coming right up. Why am I playing a hacker in freaking playoffs? Oh my god. What the hell? Alright, if I get forced disconnected again, like I have a few times already, I'm gonna cry. Hey, man. Oh, mine. Both have got good delivery, so it's just about getting on the end of things. The crowd urging him to shoot. Great chance here. It's in. Polly Pockets! Wait, is he quitting? Oh, well, it can't be a hacker, it's a console player. All right. Well, there we go. That was the quickest game in the history of games. <laughs> it's so fast. Um, all right, back to the packs, I guess. And uh, primer. Oh, yeah, I forgot about Stanway. 
That was Pulisic. I, I used him for about seven seconds. He was amazing. Highly recommend. I'm freezing, man. I think I gotta go put a sweater on. The weather has clearly changed in Vancouver. Ooh! Tradable 85 by 2. Oh, this is from Champ Rewards. Nice. We made some coins. Not much, but he's the LeBron James of soccer. I've never heard that before. Oh my! Informs have tanked again in price. They were going for 35. They now look like they're going for about 23, 22. Oh, I'm not selling. I'll just put her back. I'll, I'll do the same thing. I'll just start storing. Because you can't do repeat repeatable icon packs and stuff like that. So informs have tanked again. I'll just uh, go back to storing them on the trade pile. All I want is Ben White, too. I just can't seem to pack him to save my life. What's the best upgrade pack now after the new pick? There is none. They're all garbage, unless you have good pack luck. I mean, I think consistently the best one to do is this one right here. The 77 plus by 3. Because it's easy to do. And every 5 or every 10 completions, you get another pack. So I, for your grind, I would say you do this. And then you put the dupes wherever you want. Into the forex, into crafting, into whatever. But and then once these are done, I don't know. Maybe the, uh, 80, the 81 then, plus PP for a bit of fun. Into the forex. And then just... Recycle that over and over again. Probably the best thing to do. I think. Let's do one of these 4Xs. I can't seem to pack anything from these, man. I just can't seem to do it. Oh, wait. Hold on a sec. Maybe a dangler. Benzema. Give me a Benzema dangler. That'd be so cool. I only pack this man when he's not a special. That's a great pull. Oh, they're both dupes, lol. Hey, man. Guys, what what does Nep say? What does Nep say when this happens? What does, uh, what is, what does Dad Penthes say? I can hear his voice. At, when I read the chat... Oh, wait. The chat isn't even on screen. Sorry, guys. There you go. Um, when I read the chat, I can hear his voice. No, not 16th. No, he doesn't say that. All right. 89 and 86 for 4X. So, one second. One 4X exchange got me... The exact same 4x exchange, plus another one, plus another pack crafted. Isn't that nuts? How can people not love this? This is the best. I don't need advice on my team. That Neb does also say that as well, true. In a very loud and angry voice. And he does say pen ref as well, yeah. He does. Dude, the I don't need advice on my team meme is amazing. So good. I want it like this! <laughs> God, Nep through the years has had some serious good memes, man. Serious good memes. Uh... You know, I think I might just do a pee, -pee in front of you guys. I don't think that's too tasteless, is it? Or do I just fit? How many of these do I? What the hell is? Uh, what is even happening right now? Hold on, here we go. 
How many of these do I have left? I still have 59? Oh, I guess I'm doing these then. Never mind. Yeah, did 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 Dine, Chiki Kalor Navas, so many, so many. Why are you there while he's clapping so hard that I guarantee you it hurts his hands? Dude, the relax Bateson meme is hilarious too. That used to be one of my uh, sound alerts for a long time. Oh my, I almost pulled this way. Dede the center back. You're re Yo, I forgot that you're rezzing him. I forgot that you're rezzing him. I completely forgot that you're rezzing him, dude. Oh my god. That's OG AF as well. Beep boop. Amen. Whoop, whoop. Tonk, thank you for the 41 heavy B. I'm starving, man. I gotta I gotta make some food. Man's is hungry. Man's is hungry and my balls is hot. PPs are nowhere near the 80 plus. Really? That sucks. The glitched pen shootout was hilarious. Oh, dude. So good. So good. Pack Zambrota out of an 84 by 5 I feel like banning you. I know I've had insane pack luck the last couple of days. But, um... That's definitely a top three most wanted packs for me this week. Messi, Hullet, and uh, Zambrota. Would be the top three most unrealistic pack pulls that I want. Nice, Maka. Isn't it partially sad, though, that you have to force yourself to have fun while playing this game? Instead of inherently, you have fun because of this game? Like, essentially what, have, what EA have done to us as a community is we need to try and have fun in spite of this game. Which is diabolical. We should be having fun because of this game, not despite it. Like, that's... So, so ass backwards, if you think about it. Like, it's like, make the best of it. Like, we're going to a coal mine to work for nine hours a day to feed our families because, we, you know, that's just what we have to do. Brother, we're playing a video game in our spare time, man. This should be the funnest part of our day. And we're doing and acting with the mental fortitude like I need to go freaking mine for diamonds and cobalt. I'm playing a video game. And once again, we've answered our start of the episode question. Of why the hell does no one care about watching or playing this game anymore? Because of the words that just came out of my mouth! That's why. It's like a chore. Honestly. I'd rather do chores than play foot champs in delayed gameplay. I would rather do basic household chores than play champs in delay. I saw the last five minutes of pro, it was toxic. What do you mean? Yeah, look, at the end of the day, if you're still playing this game and managing to find your fun, then great. Because I think the saddest part, right, is if you truly hate this game and quit, I think a lot of us, and I guarantee I'm speaking to a lot of my viewers right now, 
I guarantee you when you quit this game, you basically quit gaming. Because a lot of people, myself included, although I do have things I love, Tarkov, F1, racing games in general, right? But for the most part, outside of Ultimate Team, I have almost no video games I care about. Yeah, Red Dead if we want to force ourselves to play a 10-year-old game. You know, Elden Ring because we're lucky enough that the DLC is coming, sure. But really, if we're all honest with ourselves, I think there's a lot of us at this point that have given up on this game. And when you give up on this game, the saddest part is that you just give up on gaming. Because you're like, well, really? Ultimate Team and football is the only thing I care about. I don't really give a crap about anything else. That's my point, is like nothing hits the way Ultimate Team does if you're a fan of football, card collecting, and Ultimate Team as a game in general, and sports. Nothing hits, man. F1 doesn't hit the same. As much as I love Tarkov, Tarkov does not hit the same of, as Ultimate Team does for me. I love Elden Ring. Elden Ring doesn't hit the same as the way Ultimate Team does when it's good. It doesn't. Even back in the day when I was getting more viewers on on Warzone than I was on Ultimate Team, I would still say that I had more fun and hit when it was good. I had more fun on Ultimate Team than I did on Warzone. Same thing for Fortnite. Same thing for... This game, just for what I like and the things I enjoy, this game has a special thing. It has that special perfect aura of, of, of capturing my childhood obsession with card collecting, my obsession with real life football, and my, to some extent, my obsession with video games in general. It's, it, 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 it has it all. But these dipshits in Burnaby, man, they can't get the gameplay to be good and the servers to be good. But then not only can they not get the gameplay and the servers to be good, they continuously make it worse and worse every week with new updates. How in God's name is attacking AI so broken and bad still? Even in clean gameplay, I watch, I have possession set up, I have tactics set up, I'm doing the left trigger for runs, I'm doing R1s for showing for passes. With all the tiki-taka intelligent passing mechanics I have applied, still in my final third, when I'm being high pressed by 47 players, you literally watch on the field as all my players not only don't show for passes and move into spaces to allow me to break the, the press, they hide behind defenders. So you're forced to give up possession or do those broken cross field passes. Like, I get irate talking about this because we're in fucking March six months into this game and it's worse than it's ever been and yet they're constantly releasing patches and pitch notes and 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 giving us false hope with these tweets about here this patch fixes this you're just making the game worse Every new patch that comes out, I think, okay, I know nobody cares about this game anymore. I still do. I still play it. I, I really hope that finally the gameplay is clean. The servers, for the most part, are clean. And attacking AI is getting fixed so that there's different styles of play that are viable. And then you go into the game, you're like, wait, they've nerfed yet another way to attack and pass and shoot? Wait, they've buffed AI defending and rat tactics even more? Six months down the road? It's it's almost a... At this point, it's like a gluttonous punishment. What's up, Butinho? How you doing, man? Am I just the only one that, that, that really, like, boils their blood? By the way, what are we talking about? Uh, we're talking about the socio-ecological impact of having a Starbucks once a week on the coral reefs in uh, Antarctica. Welcome to the stream. Ugh! Thanks for the sub! God, 
the timing. Perfection. Neros, thank you for the gifted sub. God bless. Hello, Peruvian player. What's up, brother? Can you play my team? Hey, dude, that's my team. Good luck against me. That's because I'm actually good. Do you check your comments? Dude, some of these YouTube comments, man. Jesus Christ. That guy that got cooked is just spamming, trying to hunt me down. He hunts me down and loses and then stops talking in the chat. Good Lord. Good God. <laughs> hey, man. I think it's time for PAX again, boys. Beef has a toxic love-hate relationship. Uh, are all my dupes going into the Forex now, guys? Yes, right? Realistically, they're going into the Forex. I know we do have... Do we have that PP? No, we did the PP, so that PP's gone. So now it's all Forex. Really. Pretty much all Forex. Yeah. Okay. Did we, uh, with that craft, did we do any more of the objectives? I think we did. <laughs> Would you look at that? FIFA's a toxic love-hate relationship. Yeah. You might be right. 10 games, 500 more coins. Let's go, boys. We're rich. I got the daily boost. Erupt. I don't know what packs I got out of that, but whatever. Completionist, we're at 2. So I won't be able to do this now, right? The completionist? Where is it again? I need four more. Oh, they've given... Oh, okay. No, they, they, they have updated it. All right, sweet. And look at that. We're at 110 now. Love that. And we get ourselves a Arda, a Gomez, and an 85 by 2. Erupt. And they're both dupes. So that's just to the exchange. How many games have I played with this card anyways? 35, huh? And how many with Arda? Three. Jesus. Not near enough. <gasps> to the exchange! Come, come! What is it? An 87 and an 89, right? Yeah. How's the Tarky progress? Going well! Um, I'm kind of getting caught up on the final few things I need for Kappa, like boss kills and uh, and the AHF1 uh, stim stimulant I need for one of the quests. I mean, that's kind of cool, right? That the uh, basically those... I just crafted a few 77 upgrade packs, which then got me a player that's now given me another 51 player pack. So this grind is infinite. Like I said, again, maybe why nobody cares about RTGs because you could just infinitely grind this game without even having to use brain cells. Is Arena still a thing? It basically never was. It was dead on arrival. They fucked that whole thing up. They spent millions and one or two years of taking development away from Tarkov itself to develop Arena and they completely botched it. Really disappointed in how Battlestate did all of that. No way, that's Virgil again. Oh, it's not. Nice. I thought that was an 86 by 2. No, surely not. That was probably an 85, right? In my brain, I saw 86 by 2.
Nice, Matt. GG's. I don't mind. I don't mind opening fodder packs. Wow, we're back up to 65 packs. We really did craft a hell of a lot of packs there, didn't we? Yeah, that Laurent Blanc looks real nice. Real nice. Real juicy. Okay, boys. Let's uh let's do this 84 by 2. These are all from the objectives, right? There it is! Oh no, that means another game. No, it doesn't! Ha ha ha! Let's go! It's not a new pull! And to the exchange! Oh, wait, no, I think that is a new pull. Oh no, that doesn't count. Oh, it's not! Let's go! Again. We're saved. Thank you, Jesus. We want gameplay? No, 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 no. You guys get the 4X. You guys get some four foreskin. That's all. Is it bad that I want to stand naked outside in the sun for 15 minutes? Just to replenish some humanity after playing three games of this game today? <laughs> I need to go stand and be part of... Ground myself with the earth. There's sun in Canada? Yeah, we've had like... Not like. We've had four days of uh, 20 degree weather and clear sunny skies. It's been beautiful, man. It's been really nice. And then we'll spread some democracy. Yep. For sure. Helldivers is a lot more fun than I was expecting. I don't know if it's because I'm playing uh, games with Nep again, which is obviously super fun. But uh, I've been impressed with how much fun I've had with Helldivers. It's not the best. I'd rather play Tarkov or Ultimate Team, but uh, it's a nice break. It is a nice break. Helldivers is fantastic. I I must agree with you. I must agree with you. It's a nice, uh, what would we call that? Stop gap? While I wait for the Elden Ring DLC. I wonder if I can convince Nep to play co-op Elden Ring with me when the new DLC comes out. I'm going to talk to him about that today on stream. See if we can uh, bully him into agreeing to play co-op Elden Ring with, with me. Like we just blotch out three hours a night a couple of weeks before the DLC comes out and then hopefully when the DLC comes out you can do co-op as well that that would be content and a half discovering the the uh the DLC together oh man that'd be great yeah let's uh let's ask him that tonight I think I think that could be fun I know he played Elden Ring but he only played maybe like 10% of Elden Ring I'd be down for a YouTube series of co-op Elden Ring. Um, I think Elden Ring... I mean, you know what? Helldivers, I should have pushed to the YouTube. To YouTube as well. Me and Nep on Helldivers, I think would have been fun. I think the Elden Ring co-op will probably do. To YouTube. I keep forgetting. Uh, to... To stream it. There's always co-op in Elden Ring. Well, no, that's relatively new, right? And again, with the DLC, maybe the first three months of the DLC, there is no co-op, right? Or no, sorry, there is co-op, but I, I don't know. The co-op I'm talking about is it's literally 100% co-op. So you're just in the game together all the time, going through the game. That is the coolest thing ever. Seamless co-op is just beautiful. It's just, it's It's new. Not constantly having to call Nep into my world and he's like a ghost or a shadow. No, like we're just both in the game together. It's the best. 
Yeah, I'm going to try and convince him of that today. How many games have we played today? Four? I mean, I don't know if it's fair for me to Mount Rushmore a community I'm part of. I think it's up to you guys to decide what a Mount Rushmore of FIFA Twitch is or FIFA YouTube is. It's not for me to say. That is your opinions. Thanks, Spartacus. Reesh. Reesh did it. Much love. You haven't watched since 2017? You're here seven years later? That's an erupt. GG. Welcome. Hey, wait, well, you haven't been subbed for seven years without watching, right? You may have just subbed today. Uh, if you want to announce your sub, I think you just refresh. And uh, it should allow you to announce it. Thanks, Cardi. I appreciate that, man. Hey, right, look at Jay Clay. Almost eight years following the channel. Bless up, brother. Thank you, dude. Come on, here we go. This is the uh, the forex we just made with uh, Virgil. Oh well. Double walkout. Come on, erupt me. Erupt me with something crazy here. Well, two new forexes is always good, I suppose. I'll take it. Heck yeah. Works for me. Thank you, Paul the Dud. Appreciate you, dude. I'm glad people have seen me personally grow, whether it's mentally or physically. Um... Let's do an 82 plus by 20. See what we can get out of this. These are hey, even man. worthwhile. Just got the shock buff for the icon PP. Nice. Come on, double walkout. It has to be. Wow. Uh, RT, thank you for the 45. I mean, I suppose an 85 rated squad for... Well, no, that's still terrible, isn't it? Yeah, that's pretty terrible. Uh, do we put these into a PP? Yes, right? Yes. I don't remember. Uh, an inform PP is what I meant. We'll do... Yes, 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 yes. Instead of one 4x with rice, why don't we just go do a PP? Start stacking up those informs. What are you like watching, bro? What heinous thing have you just said to me? Oh. I don't remember who the dupes. Uh-oh. I don't remember who the freaking dupes were. Oh, well. Yeah, Declan was the 85. I'm going to put him into the other team, though. You get me, did it? I really got to do a cut as well. I have bulked up nicely, but I've I've probably got maybe like five or ten pounds of fat now around my belly that I, I shouldn't have. I should really be doing a cut as well. But I kind of enjoy being able to eat food. Uh, so rice, to pie, and ginter. Rice, to pie, and ginter.
feel like probably the rest can be 82s. Will I watch the new Star Wars series? Hell yeah. I gotta... Dude, I have so much stuff to watch. I, I want to get through The Last of Us. Um, I've got... Uh, Andor that I need to get back to watching. I think I'm going to watch it without my son, though. I think it's a bit too old for him. Um, and then I got to watch with my son Ashokai or Ahokai or whatever. I heard that's pretty good. Um, there's a lot of stuff I got to catch up with. SMS is fun. I liked him. Wow. That's Mike Theory. That free, that's scary as hell. But yeah, anyways, his fun birthday is really good. Ashoka, yeah, I can't remember what the name is. I like the Star Wars universe. I mean, I do think Disney has ruined a lot of it, but I, I, I'm a Star Wars nerd. So I, I still I still watch all of it. Hey, man. 28 months keep up the good work like always. Bro, how am I still playing right now? What am I do Why? How am I grinding this game this long every day? What am I doing? We're damn near four hours again grinding the game. Holy. I think I should bail, man, for the day. I'm really enjoying chit-chatting with you guys, playing games, grinding, and whatever, but I don't want to burn myself out again. Remember how much fun I was having during Team of the Year, but by the end of Team of the Year, I was burnt out, man. I was done. That week vacation to Hawaii has definitely made me enjoy grinding this game again, but as always, I don't want to overdo it. I really don't want to overdo it. So, um, let me just open these two crappy packs, and then we'll pick one final pack to open. Do you want to do an Encore pack? Maybe a Roulette? Icon pack? To finish the day? I mean, surely I don't get another good pull. We've had like seven good pulls today. I don't even know how we would title an edited epi from today's grind. No clue. Yeah, let's do it. How many? I don't think I have many left. Oh, uh, we, we got a few left. Alright. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm gonna try and store it. Not a dupe. Not a dupe. It's stored, guys, so it's, it can't be a dupe, right? If it stores, it's not a dupe. Yep, sweet. All right, that's fun. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Da -da. How are these selling for the same as these? Bro, this community is so weird. Uh, What am I doing? Doing this. Doing that. I think it's going to be a big pull today, guys. I haven't felt like this in a while. I think this roulette's going to be an erupt. Maybe a base hullet or something? Yeah. It's not going to be a bad pull today. Maybe King Kenny? No. Um, I'm not even worried about these crap ones, man. Not at all. Okay. I forgot I had him as a loan. Holy God. I, I I almost freaked out there. Almost. Almost. That's not going to be keen. Uh, is there anything else here? Portugal. George Best isn't really an exciting one anyway, so we're not going to get him. We're not going to get Mexico. There's no worries there. That's a fact. I only have one Mexican player in my entire club. That's wild. Uh, oh, maybe? Damn it. Maybe, 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 maybe. No. All right, all good. It's not going to be uh, Ivory Coast. No. Uh, it's not going to be Denmark. Don't worry. No chance. Uh, again, a team of the year would be sick. Damn it. Is there anything else here? Nope. Sammy the Salmon. Damn it. I'm starting to lose hope. Uh, it's, it won't be Czech. That would have been a dupe, right? 
And it's never it's never gonna be Croatia, thank God. Okay. Bulgaria. No. Alright, here we go. Top nine. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? It's gonna be Thunderstruck Dino. Or Team of the Year R9. I'll give away some bath water if it's one of those two, yeah? Damn it. It's not going to be England, so let's not worry about that. Uh, Thunderstruck Cantona. Thunderstruck Cantona. Damn it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Maybe I was right. I have to check Netherlands. No, 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 no. Germany. Is there anything in Germany? Lothar. It could be Lothar. It could be a Lothar. Damn, it's not Lothar. Okay. Oh, my God. It actually is, isn't it? Okay, if this is a Thunderstruck Cruyff, or a base Cruyff, or a base Hullet, what do I owe you guys? One pube? You guys lucked out there. Toenails. Ew, dude. That's, so that's, that's worse than a pube, I think. Um... Okay, you know what, guys? It's probably Portugal, isn't it? Can I get a Centurion Eusebs out of this? I'd be excited about that. I think I can. Oh, no. Oh, no, guys. <laughs> guys! Everybody! I think it's freaking Paul Toes. I was wrong. Nah, if it's Paul Toes, I'm banning Geo. Oh my god, it's not Paul Toes. Wait, hold on a sec. I've looked at everyone. <laughs> Who the hell could it... What, what nation could it be? Did I look at France? I did look at France. I looked at Wales. I looked at the USA. Wait, no, I didn't look at Italy or Spain. Oh, God. Oh, I'll take an Iker Casillas. I'll take a Thunderstruck Iker. I will. Okay. I don't know how to feel about that, considering Alonso's cooking with Leverkusen. <laughs> That's bad, right, guys? There's no saving that as a good pull, is, it, is there? There's no saving that? <laughs> I want this to be a good pull because he's such a god in real life, but I think that's there's no saving this, boys. I think this is a big L. <laughs> wow, that took 15 minutes to get there. Thank you guys for watching. I love you all. And uh, as always, we'll catch you beauties on the flip side. Peace.